Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Numbers on the Board, Numbers baby. Numbers on the Board, yes! We're here, episode two. First of all, we want to say we appreciate all the support for episode one, man. 100K views on the episode in less than 48 hours. We appreciate that. But what I need you to do is to look underneath this video and see if you're subscribed. Because <laughs> a lot of them watched the video, yep. mm -hmm. maybe enjoyed the video, mm -hmm. but didn't hit the damn subscribe button. They commented, though. They commented. Comments were going crazy. We appreciate that. <laughs> but make sure you all subscribe. Go over to Spotify. Go over to Apple. Leave us five stars. Pre-download those episodes. We are sitting at the number three basketball podcast in the world right now. Can we get a round of applause for, for, the, for the people at home going we over to We them boys, man. Tell them to stop playing with us. Stop messing around. Now, we do get that, uh, that new show bump. We do. <laughs> if you got a podcast, you know you get that new show bump once you that first month. But we'll take it. Hey. Because more people are, are noticing. The numbers don't lie. The numbers what? are those what? numbers gonna consistently keep coming up. Uh -oh. Man, those numbers gonna consistently be on the board. <laughs> so. e. Look at him. He just putting it all on the board. Put it all. Hey, got to. Uh, this is our first episode on a weekday. D Mills and Austin were here before me. I'm the only person with a key at the moment. Yes. It, we fixing that. <laughs> um D Mills gotta hit that deli, y'all. I had to hit the deli. You hit the deli. I had to. We man. need the we need the review of the enjoy slash numbers on the board studio deli. Come yeah, on, we come need on, it. Come on, man. It was an everyday bagel, mm -hmm. some American cheese, mm. sausage, eggs, mm. and uh, some bacon on it. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See, usually that when I have... That bagel was so soft. Eggs were so nice and scrambled, salt and pepper in them. Amazing. When I had those type of breakfasts, I just want to go back to bed. Alpha, just one bagel? I don't know. I, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Like, I, I like to get a lot of food, but usually I end up eating, like, half of it. That's funny because you used to make fun of me for that. Me and John. I do. Oh, they get a 10-piece. <laughs> but y'all's was different because they get, like, a, literally a six-piece, and it'll take them, like, three days to finish it. <laughs> Mike also the type of dude that he doesn't eat when we're on the road. He would just not eat. I, well, that's because he got to go on his own car. That's, that's nah, the, I, Anytime it was somebody else's like, car. I don't like eating food out because, I don't know, my stomach always be kind of, like, I be needing that bathroom, and I... I feel most comfortable when that's my own bathroom. I don't like going to like public bathrooms to take a number two. So Jeez. sometimes you gotta do what you gotta if do. I gotta go. I gotta go. You, <laughs> hey, you remember when we did that? Uh, when we got them suits that one day at the mall? Yeah. And we had what we have? Oh, we had the uh, the hot wings. We did yes, the hot we wings. Did. We did them yeah. hot wings. Yes. And my stomach was on that day. I couldn't. I that's, couldn't that avoid was, no public. That bathroom. was the milk. That, that was, was the milk. We was trying to drink but milk. But also that cool you also down. decide to to big bro it. You like oh I'm eat the whole thing instead of just taking a little bite of the hot sauce. You said yourself was pressuring long. us to eat the whole wing. I was pressuring you. Yeah, you kept saying we gotta eat. Well, the whole PM wing. wasn't even eating the whole wing. He yeah. wasn't either. That's why I'm like, why would I be saying that if I'm? KB I also was saying we needed to eat them. No, I didn't. Go, the video still exists. I don't. I don't. When Mike was trying to big bro the the atomic bomb, when I was like, bro, you do not need to do that. <laughs> why was I telling you one to eat the whole wing? dip? I could have sworn one of y'all was like saying like y'all can't leave no meat on the bone. It was probably him. Yeah, I, 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 I took that finished. challenge myself. I, I don't want to put that on my, 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 my damn self, so I don't know. I also Austin think Austin is, was a part of it, Austin too. Austin is pointing at Mike. I don't remember saying that because I wasn't eating the whole wing my damn self. <laughs> As the host, if you watch Sean Evans, Sean Evans don't pressure nobody to do nothing. You just do what you're capable of. And if that means that you take one bite, then so be it. Well, you we didn't have a bite. Sean Evans. I was, I was. He was technically a version. No, because Sean Evans eats the wing, too. That you didn't touch this. I did touch him. Y'all didn't know that because I did it before y'all was there. He, he acting like he can't eat a chicken wing. He could have definitely had a little bit of hot sauce. Right. Nope. I looked at those things. Some of those hot sauces had milk in it, had dairy. Some. Oh. Yep. Some so is equal all. No. Nah. <laughs> Scary ass. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, go over to the audio platforms, <laughs> five stars. Uh, well, what was, what was y'all, and how did y'all react to the first impression of the new show? How do we react um, to like what people was they, was anybody saying things to y'all? I w not to us. I mean, actually, I did get a DM of somebody saying like, "D Mills, bro, I love y'all, but just please don't go too corporate." And I was just, <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I still need your high moments. We still need P rants. We still need all that." And I was like, "Damn, they expected it all in one episode." One episode. Yes, one episode. <laughs> I got, I got, I got a bunch of different things. I got people that was like, "Man, I love it." Love the upgrade. Y'all look real, real clean. Y'all look good. My boy Matt hit me. He was like, it was incredible. Um, he want the crispiness to go up on the video, which we're yeah, we, we going to we get working sorted on that. For the people at home, we are working on that. Um, Next episode, we'll be back to 4K. And I, w I also got a DM from somebody who was like, can y'all not cuss no more? And I'm like, bro, 
<laughs> well, Yachty said that your button chill. Like, chill. Like, we, 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 just, we just really trying to get back into the We group. just transitioned to a new company. Yeah, like, season. it had been three weeks since we had been to work. Right. Yeah. We just trying to get, get our feet back on the we ground. We had an audience in here. We had the ESPN. I ain't like, even realized. Here watching yeah. us. I ain't even realized that we wasn't cussing. But like, yeah, I didn't. Even I did when I think Derek said behind. No, that was, no, that was Mike. Or Mike that said was behind or but I'm like, hold on, what is happening right? Now? But like, <laughs> yeah. even even back then though, on the old show, I never was purposely like cursing. I'm just talking. So if we don't mm-hmm. have no moment where I gotta say anything, it ain't in my mind to say, oh, don't 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 say this yeah. or or curse right here. I'm just I'm just talking. So <laughs> if you have an episode yeah. where I'm not cursing, it ain't like. Because I'm being told not to curse, and if if we was, then I would tell you. But like, I just feel like in one episode there was so many different questions, which I'm I'm I don't mind. It, you know, our viewers having questions, but it was it was funny to mm-hmm. see so many different type of questions with so like just curiosity about different things that wasn't even on my mind. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I thought everything was gonna be about like the set or like man. Yeah. I even saw some comments on Twitter. I was like tagged in something where people was designing the set in their brain. <laughs> I saw that too. You saw that? Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like, man, they should have did this. That table is too modern. They need something wood. And then I'm like, whoa, like y'all boys is getting in y'all bag. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. Like, don't stop. It's just funny to see because I wasn't expecting that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, my ear was to the ground the whole way. I read every comment, every well, not Instagram DMs because that's weird, but like um every Twitter mention. And our goal is to create the best show imaginable. So yeah. we do listen to what the audience is saying. Like, we saw the comments about the resolution. We're working on that again. Um, we, we just just know we're trying to put together the best show for you uh, that's not too jarring from, like, what we used to do. Because I yeah. believe that our last show was nearly perfect, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so we still doing our thing. But we are trying to reach heights. For sure. For sure. That I don't think the fans are aware of. You know what I mean? And certain certain heights... You know, I mean, it's certain cleanup you got to do. Yeah, y'all love when we was on that set with Steph and Clay. We had suits on. You know what I mean? If that was our everyday job, or that's what that would look like, we would have to have suit. We wouldn't be wearing jogging suits on that type of on that type of set. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even though they never mind, you got to get what you the jogging pants under the suit. No, 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 no. Uh, you got it. Yeah, I was gotta, just saying it was it was like it was us that was like we need suits for this. Oh, you know, yeah, like. Yeah. But I'm glad we that we did that because yeah, we would have looked did. foolish. Yeah, we would have looked like some damn fools up there. Mike with his Amiri mustard knockoff. Mustard stain all on my <laughs> shirt. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I would hope you wouldn't have mustard stain in a Zoom. <laughs> What's my <laughs> a Zoom? When we did Zoom, I would have been like, Mike, you got mustard on that shirt, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel but, like I'm the most likely one to have a mustard stain on my shirt. You think so? I've seen Mike eat a hot dog. Yeah, no. Nah, remember yeah. I had that Polish at oh, the game? Looking yeah, like yeah. an undercover cop? Yep. Yeah, that what was a time. actually crazy. Cannot wait for baseball season. Just, just for that Cubs. type of shit. Just for that type of shit. Oh, yeah. Go Cubs. <laughs> we only, hey, we that only that was, at Wrigley this year? That was another thing. One of the comments that I've seen on YouTube, I don't really look at the YouTube comments, but I've seen one because when you click on a video, it's at the top. And somebody, they was like, um... Man, it just feel like P Force in that intro. They don't even know where that come from. Yeah, they, y'all got to tap in. That's White Sox history. Somebody did know. Somebody's like, that's Hulk Harrelson. I, yeah. I love the, it's a little late. I love the uh, the the Chicago connection yeah. with the Hulk Harrelson. I'm damn. Who is this? <laughs> is he from Chicago? How Had you know to this? Be, right? Yeah, you yeah, can we don't put get it the, on the board. Yes, we don't get the Hulk Harrelson because a he don't do it no more. Or he because don't the White Sox and the because white, they suck. They yeah. don't hit home runs. Uh, when he anyway, was doing it. We had Paulie. We was winning. We, we, we had won the World Series. Oh, Jim Tomei. So Joe Creedy. Come on, man. Tata Gucci. C- 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 <laughs> yes, yes. We had a lot. The Cubs had Derek Lee. Don't forget about that. Who else? <laughs> Don't ask me about nobody. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ronnie Cedeno. Yeah, you know, Derek Derek. yeah, that's the only reason only he knows. Re- he knows every Derek Aramis in Chicago. Ramirez was fool. nice. You remember my Ramis Ramirez? No, you don't. No, I don't. You don't. Tough. He was damn near better than Derek Lee. Nobody was better than Derek Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no. Blaze and Derek Lee. Sammy Sosa wasn't better than Derek Lee. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, okay. But they're not in the same era. <laughs> he said, my name is Sosa. You can call me Sammy. <laughs> okay, Chief Key. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, can we start off with drop the mic, please? Dun, dun, dun. Please. <laughs> oh. No, no. Just, oh, okay, just, Mike, just read the drop the mic. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. We we just going ahead to we going ahead to the drop to the mic. Hey, right. we not. It is what it is, Austin. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we rolling hey, with the punches, we, baby. It is what it is. We do this. This is what they want. 
Don't go too corporate. We fuck. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> this is real. real life. Better late than never. <laughs> Drop the mic for today is I'm gonna say a statement or a word. I want you to say the first player or team that comes to mind. Bet. First one exceeded expectations. Oklahoma City Thunder mm. exceeded expectations. They're the two seed, two three seed in the West. It, a good season for them would have been just being in the play in or the seven eight seed. They're one of the best teams in the league right now. That that that's that's very true. I'm gonna go a little different. Uh, I'm gonna go to Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers are ten and three right now without Evan Mobley and Darius Garland. I think that's exceeding expectations. We were looking at them to hopefully stay afloat, and the fact that they're doing even better than staying afloat um, is a lot of credit to uh, JB Biggerstaff, Donovan Mitchell, Karis LeVert has stepped up tremendously. Uh, George Niang has made shots like. Everybody, Jared Allen Jared has Allen, had some big scoring. 20 and nights, 17 yeah. nights, very regular. He's had, what, is that nine or ten double-doubles in, in ten straight or nine straight games? So collectively for them to be doing the things that they're doing while those guys are down, man, it makes them scary for when they return because they started off slow, and then when those injuries happened, naturally it was like, uh-oh, they, this could be something dangerous. We were so ready to put Donovan Mitchell in trade, you know, packages and things like that, but – you know, they 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 are to me exceeding expectations even with those uh those injuries. Jared Allen and them were so dominant on the offensive glass yesterday that Billy Donovan was like Vucevic drumming, y'all gotta play together. <laughs> they had played together five total minutes the last two years. They both went and got 10, 10 plus rebounds. And they both you are still lost. Y'all came balls. back and then y'all fake man. fake run. Yeah. Fake runs. Um exceed expectations. Minnesota Timberwolves. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Gotta be them. A team that before the season started, I was like are they a playing team? Are they better than that? And mm-hmm. here they are, the one seed, and they continuously end up with uh, pretty pretty good wins. Mm-hmm. But they exceed expectations so far. All right. What Next. about you? Are you going to answer your own question? or I would I would definitely go with OKC, uh-huh. honestly. Yeah. I mean, Shea, Shea's just a joy to watch. He is. Um, your Lakers. My Lakers, limited. fortunate, were uh, lucky enough to pull out that W yesterday. They played really good yesterday. Had six people in double figures. But to focus on OKC, like they – they're a really hard team to stop, you know, offensively. They they just already know. They all know their job. Shea and Jalen Williams, they're going to touch the paint. Same with Chet and everybody else. You're going to kind of follow in line and, and make sure you're not going to have them shots. And defensively, what, they still top five? Yes. So they're, they're, doing, they're doing it in all areas. You know, with something that's funny that I've seen on Twitter, and I'm like, man, we be, we be doing our thing. Me and you talked about J-Dub. This is like years ago. Maybe when he was, maybe this is draft process or maybe um, rookie year, early mm-hmm. rookie year, summer league or something. And, um, and me you know what's crazy? What? He's only a year two. You said years ago. They had to be last year then. Yeah, yeah two years ago would be years ago. Because I, I don't know if this is his. This is his second year. But I don't know. You don't know if he was like in the league? When yeah, I don't know if me, I don't know if me and Mike had this conversation pre draft. Oh, I see what you mean. Or right after drafted. But me and Mike specifically, I don't, I, I don't even know if this was on the podcast or whatever. Me and you talked about him and how he looked and how he moved. Do you remember the name we said? I said, I want to say I said Shay or something like it was you, something. Yeah, you said yes. It was like yes. a guard, and you I was said just like Shay, and I said Paul Pierce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, I think I seen Click saying that Jada reminds him of Paul Pierce. And I'm mm-hmm. like, me and Mike was having that conversation. I just can't remember if it was on a podcast or not. You did say Shea. I didn't know you say he moved like Shea. I thought you said you could see him being like a Shea. Where like, Imagine that. It was more so like. <laughs> Two Shays on the same team. Damn. <laughs> First of all, he's he's getting that strength up too. Like He's just like an ox, but he moves at his own pace. And it's just like once he's getting that, that angle or that like that leverage, it's very hard to stop him, you know? Like me and KB was talking – he could get them big ass shoulders. He yeah, do. The big shoulders with neck. <laughs> big shoulders with neck. Yeah. And do, do y'all, Crazy are y'all familiar with his brother? Yes. Yeah. In Colorado right yeah. now. Uh, when we were in Denver, one of the people that we met, hopefully you're still watching the channel and stuff. He went to Colorado. He yeah. Was he, he was saying that uh, I got access to all of the practices. Yeah. And if you, y'all around for another day, I can help y'all get into practice. So you can see J Dub's brother. And I didn't think too much about it. You know, we meeting a bunch of people and stuff. And then, um, Yesterday, I was screaming, actually, and somebody just kept spamming 100 bits, 100 bits. Go watch, um, what's his name? What's his brother's name? Cody, Cody Williams. Cody, go watch Cody. Go watch Cody. Oh, I, I bet. I go. Hey. Yeah, Cody Williams probably be a top five pick. Looking oh, great. Uh, he'd probably be you a know top who five else pick. he was talking about? Too, yeah, I, was, I remember ago. him, though. He was telling me, do you know who Cody Williams is? I'm like, bro, don't disrespect me. <laughs> don't, dis- I remember don't disrespect me. me. I he was talking about Colorado. Isaiah Joe and how he's kind of under the radar on that Sixers bench when he got drafted. He's like. He's going to have a couple of games, and it's from, like, that's all he really needs because they're going to know mm-hmm. he can knock that thing that's down. That's all he needed. 
and he found a perfect role with OKC. And I was telling KB yesterday, I like these shooters that do more than just catch and shoot. Like, he catches a ball, depending on what's going on, obviously he will let it fly, but he's not afraid to take a bounce or two and make a play himself. And I think it's just a more... Who's their X Factor? Uh, uh, you mean this year or just in the grand scheme of like their franchise? I would say this year. No, no right or wrong answer. I'm it's just probably J Dub in my opinion, honestly. Because yeah. I feel like you know what you're getting from Chet and uh, Shea. Mm-hmm. I think J Dub's that guy. That I mean, the fourth quarter in the last. You month don't know what so, you're getting from J Dub. Disgusting. I mean, you probably you do. Like he's he's probably a consistent 16 to 20 points per game, but uh, I just think he puts you over the top. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, next one, expendable. Sheesh. We could, like, how 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 much time we got <laughs> to talk about expendable in the NBA? This, I mean, just pick your favorite one. Oh, pick my least top, favorite one. The least favorite one, I should say. Pascal Siakam. Is he expendable? I mean, at this point, for for the for the Raptors. Yeah. I mean, they're bad. So that's why he's expendable. You're gonna be bad regardless. You might as well get. Oh, okay, I see, what you I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I kind of thought about that like the Raptors. Like, if you get rid of this player, then the team is going to be the team. You know what I'm saying? Um, the perfect example of that right now is Zach Levine. Right, the yeah. team was bad with him. They were they were above 500 without him. Since he's been back, they're back to being bad. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of proves like it, it's not prove it because I want GM still a trade for him. But like just based on that, he seems like an expendable piece to the Bulls. That's all. Yeah. Wiggins has also turned into expendable now. Yes. It seems like. Get him it. out the door. But that contract he is so big. Yeah. It's like he's a, it, he might be a warrior for life. My yeah, guy. Warriors are in a, such a bad situation. All they tradable assets are just not have no value. We're going to talk about the Warriors. I'll throw one out there that, uh-huh. that is a little different. And people have heard me talk about it a little bit. Um, Mikael Bridges. And the pushback and the response that a lot of people give me is that, hey, they don't own that pick or whatnot. Um, but my pushback is, shit, you're 16 and 23 with him. And you're probably giving that team who Houston. You're mm-hmm. probably giving Houston. Houston a lottery pick, even with them. <laughs> so you know, hopefully something. I'm thinking forward, and what I'm hoping is y'all, y'all let me know if y'all like this. Trade them to Houston for the pick back. <laughs> <laughs> the Memphis Grizzlies don't have Ja for the rest of the year. They don't have Stephen Adams. They lost Desmond Bain for the next six weeks, which makes me think basically the season they'll babysit that Mm -hmm. um the the losses are going to come they they definitely beat the Warriors which we'll talk about but the losses should be coming for the Grizzlies like they did at the beginning of the year the Grizzlies fall into having the top five pick Mm -hmm. Brooklyn you don't have your pick you trade with the Grizzlies and get picks one of those picks being a top five pick Mikael Bridges goes to the Grizzlies now the Grizzlies come back next year with Ja Morant Desmond Bain, Mikael Bridges, Jaron Jackson, whoever their center is going to be. You may be able to convince them on that, too, just because it's it's not like they're they're bad because they suck. It's just they bad because they had injuries the whole season. Now they, they lost the job for the season. Desmond Bain is out, and Jaron Jackson Jr. is the only player out there uh, or, like, their only, like, regular starter that for should sure. be out there. But, hey, you got to give a shout-out to, like, Gigi Jackson. I thought uh, Jacob Gillier had a really good game uh, yesterday too against the Warriors. Like they they're pulling it down, but Shout they don't got Vince. enough. They just they just don't got enough, and it's okay for sure. Now I'm just hoping something. I'm trying to foresee and hope that something like that would happen, where the Grizzlies can have something like that fall in their lap, and they can make a move like with the move like that with the Nets. Um, I think Mikael Bridges is good. Yeah, I just think that the Nets are kind of in his place. Unfortunately, because I wish they weren't, because they <laughs> anytime you trade Kyrie, Harden, and Durant. I would hope that you could be in a much better position than this, but it just kind of seemed like there's not that much more room. I to like grow. it though for the next. I know he is. Too. I know you're thinking Ben Simmons is going to come back and put this team. Y'all, y'all <laughs> saw the mixtape. He's ready to come back again. He's as a Ben Simmons fan. He's pissing me off with that. <laughs> I, I'm re- I'm really not really liking it. He dropped that video. All he do is huh? return. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so sorry, so. Uh, did he put together that video, or did somebody else like put together a compilation? He, it dropped on his page. Oh, it's, oh, that's rap. And there. he was talking yeah. over it. I mean, oh, that's rap. It was like, yeah, you know, this is just a part of my story. Oh, I'm, all, it's all, I'm almost back. But Ben, it's like, Ben, yeah. Ben. The best thing that can happen for Ben is for him not to do something like that. Just come back unannounced. Yeah, I, I agree. Now, no more return video. No more out questionable. He's just in the lineup. Because you got guys like my man's right here to the right of me. Are you it, selling the stock? It's sold already. Ooh. It is because you at an all-time low. It's at an all-time low right now. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Wiggins. What are you getting in return <laughs> for, for selling? Right? That's where you keep it, right? Yeah, yeah I don't you know get what you get in return for Wiggins. You got something from that deli for that Ben Simmons stuff? I do. Man. That egg and cheese bacon. That was <laughs> just to put the cheese on it. That's how cheap it was. <laughs> 
Uh, we can move on to the next one. First time All Star. I, I did um, my All Star ballot on, on on the other podcast, and it's hard to find a first timer this year. I'm gonna throw my Paolo Bancaro. Oh, oh no, oh, he was yeah. he was on my ballot. I'm yeah, tripping. Yeah. Yes, Paolo it was Paolo Bancaro. Yeah, I love yeah. me some Paolo. Yeah. Paolo is the what answer. What college he went to? You crazy. Um, Paolo is the answer. What college did he go Dude. to? Okay. <laughs> he said you crazy, and it made me feel like you ain't know. He, he, well, he hesitated. You, he uh, said you crazy for asking me that question. No, I'm question. saying you crazy for, for pausing after it was, oh, you asked. You, you, you almost paused. got it. Duke State. <laughs> 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 I tried to get LP on my uh, ballot. Yeah. Couldn't get there. Um, the I fact tried that to get, you tried, we appreciate you in Houston. I tried to get Scotty on my ballot. Couldn't get there. Yeah. Uh, flip the coin between him and Damian Lillard. Between who? Scotty and Dane? Yes, I did. Um, I'm like, I'm like, like, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> he said, what? 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 He said interest. Uh, and then the night, I, I picked Dane, by the way. I, I, I know you would. He hit, I knew the, you would. he hit the game winner that night, so uh, I felt, I felt vindicated. I felt vindicated. But Scotty has the better numbers. Scotty. Okay. Oh, I thought what you were going to defend your Yeah, I thought you were going to But that's it. Everybody else is healthy, really. Tyrese Halliburton might be out for the All-Star game. So he might get an injury replacement, but that injury replacement might be a guy like Trey Young. You know, Wait, who, why would he be out? He was only he, out for two weeks. Th- he's going to be reevaluated in two weeks. So we'll oh, see. Shit. I mean, that that's one of them injuries that's like it, nagging. It is a hamstring, all, yeah. And you don't want to go into the all-star you know, game with a hamstring. Yeah, he's just, always been hampered by the yes. hamstring. He's, he's been 12 years. He still ain't fully he, recovered. Because he doesn't stretch. <laughs> just look at him. You <laughs> know he doesn't stretch. Mike went from a starter to out of the rotation because of a hamstring injury. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> what was you doing? I wasn't in the rotation. Either. Okay. We were sitting right okay. next to you. Okay. Like, no, 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 no. no. Time out, time out. That's a big difference. He was a starter who got hurt. You was fully healthy out of the rotation. <laughs> time out. I wasn't in the rotation either. All right, we got two more. Uh, we can make them quick if you want. Next one is Purgatory. Uh, the Chicago Bulls, the Toronto Raptors. But at least the Toronto Raptors have decided on a on a decision yeah, with making the OG. The Bulls trade. are kind of still stuck. Yes, I don't know yes. what's holding them back, but yeah, they're kind of just stuck. I thought the Brooklyn the front office. I thought Brooklyn Nets in there too. I yeah. thought Atlanta Hawks in there too. Yep. Oh yeah, the Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks are for, for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah, at least they're now discussing Dejounte. Dejounte talks have revamped up. Yeah. So hopefully we see him move soon. They I almost love blew that game last situation. night too. You said what? They almost blew their game. Yeah, they, they did. They were about 30 and almost lost. Shout out to Wimby Spurs, in the second right? half. Yeah. Yeah. 26 points in the second half? 26 points in the second half, blocking everything. I'm just, yikes. You saw when Jalen Johnson flexed on him? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Last one, all defensive team. Herb Jones like, has zero all defensive appearances. If he doesn't make it this year, it's rigged against him. Uh, he has been one of the top three perimeter defenders in all of basketball. It's got to be Herb Jones. Are you Shat saying home, make bro. a defensive team? You can interpret it how you want, but all defensive team. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Chet. Oh, Derek White. Ain't too Derek bad. Black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Is it just because I'm black? <laughs> You're crazy. What? <laughs> how you take his joke and, and take the joke and do the same thing with the joke? <laughs> he's, not much of a, he's not much of a He's not much of a jokester. He's not. He's not. All right, on today's episode, we want to talk about all 30 teams and give them a midseason trade. And while we go throughout it, we'll talk about the news associated with said team. Um, I, I want to go, I want to fluctuate between East you know, and West. You East know, I'm, and West. I'm, I'm a real guy. So I'm going to keep it real. Mm-hmm. I'm going to grade my stuff during it. During <laughs> <laughs> while we go, I'm grading it. He was up too late on 2K. No, I was putting a lot of shit in that doc that nobody else put nothing uh, into. I so when you. I put all that shit in that doc <laughs> that we're going to talk about for the teams when we talk about them. I was more focused on putting my energy in that because Mike you add, added something to the doc. He did. I what didn't did you add, add to that? I didn't add to the did doc. you space? Did you put a space bar? No. In episode one. Remember what he put in the doc? Yeah. What did he say? Uh, uh, I, meals, I was like half sleep when I was. Men. It, he mean said deep of, mills of the deep mills men of the week, but he spelled week W E A K. And he put meal. He put meals two man Z's? if the week. It was yeah. I was like, my when eyes I open, was half closed. When you I put in what you get out, D-Mills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's start off up top with the Boston Celtics. Boston hey, Celtics. They made a trade in the offseason. Uh, they get Drew Holiday, get KP, and they came out. And it looks like they haven't missed a tribe. There wasn't much of a gelling period, and they came out right on top. Still 19-0 at home, like have not lost. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's only been a few teams to go this deep without a loss. They're still on pace. No team has ever gone 41-0 at home. We had the Spurs go 40-0 yeah. and then lose to the Warriors yeah. on the second-to-last day of the season. And then there was a Celtics team from the er, from the 80s that went 41-1, and one, or 40-1, and one, and then I think it lost 
zero games in the playoffs at home too. So they're on pace for it. Is it is it realistic based on what y'all see for this team? Which which Celtics team was that? Was I don't that, remember. What that, it was like eighty okay. six, maybe eighty six Celtics. So like um, a plus for the Celtics. Mm-hmm. I agree with everything Derek said. Phenomenal team. Um, really shows lack you know lack of holes. They've been pushed. The Timberwolves definitely be giving them a push, but they just have a little bit of everything. They have the size, uh, the defensive tenacity with Drew Holiday. I love the fact that he's accepted his role. He's a guy that's not getting any buzz for All Star, and it doesn't seem like he care. Um, Jason Tatum. My only big things is like when I'm watching the Celtics, I know what's about to happen. I like when a quarter is going down. I know Jason Tatum is going to dribble sidestep for a heavily contested three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I, they I, don't have a lot of variety <laughs> in their, yeah. their score. That's the only thing I can say. Uh, and hey, if it works in the playoffs and it wins in the championship, I will shut up. But as far as uh, anything else, they they just have it all. Defensively is there. Offensively is there. Um, they have role players. Sam Hauser is is a guy that's making a difference when he's out there. Um, so I, I really think the sky is the limit for this team. It's going to be interesting to see them match up with different opponents in the uh, Eastern Conference because there's so many different Eastern Conference teams that I think can pull out a different version of the Celtics. If they match up with the 76ers at some point, that's Joel Embiid they have to worry about. We know the Heat in them have a, a great matchup um, that, that they like. The the story with Dame and Drew and, the you know, the – trying to stop Giannis on the inside and Dame on the outside, but then scoring it up on the butt. There's just going to be so many different versions of the Celtics that we'll be able to see during the course of the playoffs that I'm excited to see uh, see if they can handle the course because it's going to be a lot of a lot of dog fights. I know that. Yep, I ain't got much else to add. They are yeah. also A+. Plus. I gave them an A+, plus too. Y'all basically said everything. I think the additions they had, obviously, with like Drew Holiday and Porzingis, I think they flipped flawlessly. Porzingis gives them just a different offensive element, and like you said, they do get – the offense becomes predictable at times, but at least with Porzingis, it's like we almost, we almost every night got a seven foot one dude that has a size and mismatch. Seven foot what? Like Don't disrespect se- Porzingis. Seven Give two. him them extra inches, seven boy. Foot what? Right. Seven two, seven, seven three. Foot, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there okay. you go. Right. There you go. My fault. You, you I ain't been on my inches. team in a minute. Two you know, inches mean you know. a lot. It means a ton. Oh, he but, knows. <laughs> but he always has a size advantage, so he can not only get his three up the space of floor, but he can get 20, 20 plus easy points. Also, he can get to the line. He just gives him that also that extra element I think they need to have a little bit more diversity in their offense but the defense has been legit I mean I feel like every other game I'm seeing Derek White chase down a, like a crucial you know fast break layup and he's getting the block on it because it's like it's just a big momentum plays that they have continuously every night yeah and I think just having KP and Horford it just gives you the ability to ha- have five out like you can literally have five different five offensive that plays out on the perimeter something I was looking at is like I think, especially when they played the Timberwolves, too, Rudy was out, but like Chris Stops, Chris Stops has missed his share of games, too. Yeah. And they've still been able to win some really tough games. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I want to see them do is get to the basket more. As, as Pierre mentioned, they don't have a lot of variety in their offense. It's mm-hmm. working, right? It's one of the better offenses in basketball. But putting pressure on that rim goes a long way to open up everything else. So um, I do want to round y'all. We're going through 30 teams. So sure. shout out to the Celtics. But, but <laughs> well, by the time we get to Washington, teams, yeah, oh, I'm just I'm just going around with association. They're going and to there's be. no specific order because my next team is the is the Grizzlies. Oh, right, so it's going to be some of these teams. Oh. We're not going to have anything to say. So we, I like how you just, I, I, I like that the Grizzlies. I gave a C minus, um, just because a lot of the things that they went through this season kind of wasn't their fault. Injuries a lot, Josh suspension that happened last year. I mean, sure it was avoidable, but like. It happened. Mm-hmm. Um, Desmond Bain was out. Um, Jaron Jackson missed time. So, like, they literally missed everyone at some point. Marcus Smart was out. He's out now currently still. Yep. So, like, it's literally nothing they could have done to uh, avoid all this that happened. I'm going to give them a C plus because though they've had the injuries, a couple of things that I do like, I do like to find a Vince Williams. I think he's going to be somebody that can still be a part of the team next Underpaid year. Underpaid at this point. Yeah, or <laughs> just got that extension. Yeah. And then um, I love the fact that now G.G. Jackson is getting minutes. If G.G. Jackson can continue to get these type of minutes, he's going to have ups and downs. He just turned 19 yes. in December. Um, we saw the ups and downs last year in South Carolina. But as long as he's getting these experience, experimental m- m- minutes where he can have these nights like he just had against my Knicks, against the Warriors, it's going to pay off next year when the team is fully healthy and he needs to be thrown into that fire. Um, and, again, another young guy who was on a rookie contract. And uh, the more you can stock up on those guys, it just helps you down the line. So as long as they keep finding blessings in disguise like that, I think they can uh, – the grade can give, even go up higher. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, you remember <clears throat> me and KB had a conversation about Gigi Jackson offseason where he was like, are you worried about him just because he is 18? I said, no. 
that's kind of why I like him even more because he is 18. And I felt like he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he was such a professional scorer at 18 that it was like, the sky's the limit with the fact that he's 18 and he's able to score the way he was able to. And like, you see it now, and like, the scoring, he scores like a professional. And like, the fact that he's 18 and he was doing that, you're now seeing a progression of it. I, I get you. I would. Just, it's always been the opportunity, man. If he was gonna be able to get minutes, and he wasn't, if they were gonna be fully healthy. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment with him and Shaq was dope. Yeah, facts. Um, I read somewhere that he also had a moment like that when they played against the Mavericks the other night, where people went over to Ja Morant, like uh, Luca, and Kyrie went over to Ja Morant to say, like, man, feel bad, keep your head up, you gotta out for the season. And Gigi got in the middle of their conversation like, Luca, Kyrie, I love you. <laughs> He's like, oh, snap. He really is like a kid living out his dream, which is which is dope, which is dope. Shout Would be the first overall pick in this year's draft if he didn't reclassify. I also, okay, so, okay, good to hear that. Because somebody else said that. Um, Who said that? It, it might have been, been Kevin O'Connor. It might have been Kevin O'Connor. Where he just said the thought experiment that, like, if he did not uh, end up, well, obviously he had some stuff dealing with like the coaching last year in South Carolina, whatever, whatever. If he was in this draft class because of how bad or how the lack of upside for a lot of the prospects that mm -hmm. if he was in this draft class, he would probably be top five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happened is uh, he reclassified to go into a year earlier. So he was his. supposed to be in this draft this class. This would be his class. He would be a freshman now. A lot of people, when I said that on Twitter, they didn't really understand reclassified. That's what that means. Marvin Bagley did the same thing. Um, but, yeah, you'll have a guy that will – Go jump up a grade. So I graduated in 2013, but hypothetically, uh, let me go into, I'm going to jump into 2012 in, okay. in Darnie's class, and then I'm going to leave then. So I would be playing ahead, a so, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's, you know, that's why as people talk about his age a lot because he really is a freshman in, high, in, in college. I almost said high school. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go to the Indiana Pacers. So 23 and 17 on the season, uh, 7 and 3 in the last 10, lost the last two, no Tyrese Halliburton, uh, but sitting at the sixth seed tied with your New York Knicks um, for the six seed currently. Mike, you go first. Um, I gave them a B. I think that I really wanted to go higher in this too, but they kind of like they kind of cooled down from how hot they started to begin uh, to begin the season. But I I really enjoyed watching them because they played their brand of basketball like every every game. It's no like no no question about it. They're gonna run up and down. They're gonna shoot a lot of shots and they're gonna try to outscore you. It's it's gotten some it's gotten them where they are right now and I think that's it's pretty good for them to be at this sixth spot. I can see them being better with Tyrese obviously being there and being healthy, but I think the Pacers should be happy with the spot they're at now. They just got to figure out how to sit down in the fourth quarter and defend some or defend sometimes. Oh, I thought you went low, low key. I think this is like an A team. Mm -hmm. When you look at the amount of talent on this roster, that that's not a team that has the talent of where they are right now. Um, and again, before Tyrese was injured. Mm -hmm. They were higher in the standards at six. Um, they are the best offense of all time. Like, I, I know we say every year somebody is the best offense of all time because yeah. of the way the, the space is going or the pace is going. Uh, but, again, based on their talent, they shouldn't be this good. Mm -hmm. They have a all-star and then a bunch of players that you would expect to be, like, third to fourth options on good teams. And here they are putting it together. They're the exact opposite of your favorite team that since they lost in the in-season tournament, they've been on – a, a crazy run again taking away these last couple games without Tyrese I think they've been as good as you can imagine that's why they're trying mm -hmm. to throw gas on the fire and say we need to keep going keep going keep going while other teams that have this amount of talent might be like ah we maybe don't want to be as good as we are right now because we want to retain a high first round pick so we can add somebody they're like no we're gonna use the draft capital that we have to potentially go get somebody and I like that uh they're a B plus for me I definitely want to see them take that next step um Pascal Siakam is out there I know they would link to OG. That would have been a great pickup for them. Unfortunately, my Knicks came in and swooped that. Um, I would just love to see them add on to that because, yeah, you're right. This team is exceeding expectations with one legitimate all-star. And when we look at a lot of these other teams that they're around, you just said they're tied with my Knicks. My Knicks have two all-star caliber players. Even if both don't make it, there's two all-star level talents. Mm -hmm. And if you look around the Eastern Conference, every team is like that. The Celtics, mm -hmm. we know, have numerous. Was... The Bucks have two. Sixers have two. Uh, the Cavs have like two or three, depending on when they're healthy. Mm -hmm. My Knicks have two. They're literally, the uh, Miami Heat have two. Yeah. They're the only one that's uh, around that area with only one legitimate guy. So if they could go out and go get another all-star level player, um, it might change a little bit of that speed and tempo because if you bring in a pass guy, I think he can still run, but it gives, it just gives you a better half-court offense because mm -hmm. you're going to need that for the playoffs. And defensively, he can hopefully 
give you some type of boost. But you also got Jeremy Grant out there. That's a lot of different other options mm-hmm. outside of Pascal. Bring Bojan Bogdanovic back. I know um, that was their best years when he was there. <laughs> yeah, not, I don't want to say best years, but I, it was so fun. Yeah, it was Victor Oladipo, him, yeah. Yeah. man, that was fun times. For for y'all all stars, is Tyree's been a lock for y'all? Hell yeah, yeah. he's a starter. Yeah, yeah. starter. He's the best yeah, yeah. guard. It's in been like that for a minute. I think the other spot's been kind of like iffy. It was Trey Young for a little bit. It's kind of moving into that Donovan, Donovan Mitchell range. Mm. But Tyrese has been a lock the whole year. Yeah, for basically. sure. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm surprised you the asked. Second that. guard. Um, I mean, they. I think they asked me in the chat, so I just wanted to bring it up. My second guard on mine was uh, Jalen Brunson. Got to be Jalen Brunson. But mm-hmm. I did contemplate Donovan Mitchell as a starter. Um, I think it's going to come down to the wire. Maxie. It's going to really come down to like yeah. damn near the day of. I mean, I haven't really kept up. We were supposed to talk about the all-star voting last episode, but I, I haven't really kept up enough to know, like, because, you know, it's like 25% this, yeah. 25% mm-hmm. this, and 50% that. Um, I don't know where Brunson holds or Mitchell. I know Trey Young was second amongst guards. Only I had him. Or, I had him earlier. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like I, I had him as my second, uh, as my second lot or second starter. But he's, he's been crazy faded. good. Yeah. I am yeah. surprised that Giannis is like the most popular guy among votes. I, it's or he's a captain last year too. It's usually LeBron though. It's like oh, you mean total? Yeah, total. LeBron's usually running away with total sure. votes. Yeah. See Giannis now taking it is actually pretty interesting. All right. Anything else on the Pacers before we move on? No, let's get the next team. Sacramento Kings are 23 and 16 on the year. Currently, two game losing streak. Lost to Damian Lillard on his Dame time stuff in a game where the Bucks blew it, forced overtime, and then the Kings blew it by missing some free throws. And then Dame comes down and hit the the shot with Brook Lopez asking for the. Did I see that Brook Lopez is yeah, asking for the asking ball? For the shot. Uh, th- th- no, it's da- it's Dame time. <laughs> and he hit the 30 footer, leaning to his left, one of his favorite shots to shoot, and boom. They win, but the Sacramento Kings lose. How, how we grading on the Kings? Fifth seed, by the way. Another uh, B plus. I, I damn near want to give them an A minus, though, just because I came into the season really thinking that they were going to have some hard times because they weren't going to shock people anymore. People would be prepared for it or whatnot, and I really think they answered that call. Um, I think the Western Conference is a dog fight, and they hang it in there. Sabonis has been playing out of his mind. Yep. Uh, obviously, De'Aaron Fox is phenomenal. I'm going to clap it up for Sabonis But Sabonis, quick. man, that <laughs> – that boy can hoop. And I've, I've been a Sabonis guy since Indiana, but he's taking it up to a whole different notch. It seems like uh, every year Sabonis just gets better. He gets better. He gets better he every gets year. Better, Somehow, you, you always think that he's reached, Where to, he's at? Yeah, yeah. He's reached another level, but then he takes it to another level. It's yeah. like, damn. Did Malik. y'all see when uh, – I forget who initially said it, but D Fo- or De'Aaron had quoted in his, like, uh, newsflash, guys, like, it's bad to be consistent. Because they were like, Sabonis isn't that good because he's like, the last five years, his numbers have just been the same. Mm-hmm. And but D five is like that's consistency right there. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's been putting it up really good damn numbers. Yeah. For you to be like, man, he ain't taking that next step because yeah, he ain't averaging five more points. Whoever said right. that, that's that's just some Twitter bullshit. That's the thing about like NBA talk on Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just that's like, why you don't you just don't do it. Yeah, you don't yeah. do it. <laughs> People people's argument. People will try to tear down an amazing player to say mm-hmm. that this player. That's is why I, that's why I low key love when players like Kevin Durant like they get into those engagements, or whatever. I just seen uh, how they was talking about like. Kevin Durant, how do you think you would do in the 90s? He's like, that's just that's just like a bad conversation to have. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like literally like, never I just ending. love the conversation y'all just kind of had. What? Y'all were talking about all-star guards. Mm-hmm. You got Tyrese is a lock. You got Brunson. Trey Young came up. Obviously, you can put Maxi in there. The question is, who are you taking? If you're if Trey Young is left out, it's not because he's not good. Yeah, we're not. That's not the conversation we're gonna have. We're just picking this person over him because we feel like they have a better case. But he's still an amazing player. Yeah, he's been yeah. amazing. He's been great. Offensive yeah. juggernaut. But if you season. go on Twitter, they're gonna tell to tell you, no, Brussels should make it because Trey Young trash. Yeah, just like what? <laughs> As a Knicks fan, I'm not even subscribing to that. All of these dudes can hoop, but it's just who are we picking this particular year? Because it's as far as next year, Trey Young may be the starter. Yeah. Like that's how that, how good these guys. Are, and I didn't want to go off on a tangent, but yeah. Um, B plus for the Kings. Yeah, facts. I'll give him a B plus too. Yeah. We all have B plus? Yeah. I make B+. a move or no make a move? Make a move, 100%. I, yeah, they got to yeah, make a move. As long as you're not, as long as Keegan Murray's not in the deal, 100%. Uh, I want them to get a bigger wing. Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant. Obviously, Pascal been in conversation. Some, somebody yeah. like that. Somebody like Especially that. Especially if you don't think you could re sign Malik Monk, you might as well try to put him out there, find something. Losing Malik Monk will be detrimental to the Sacramento Kings. I don't think the they whole will. city I, of Sacramento, I, I don't not think even just lose. the Kings. I think he'll go back. Uh, next team, let's do the Cleveland Cavaliers. We mentioned them a little bit earlier. Uh, Twenty-three and fifteen, uh, currently on a nice streak without 
uh, Darius Garland and Evan Mobley, Jared Allen's been hooping, Donovan Mitchell's been a stud again. They got everybody contributing. Um, how are y'all feeling about them four seed? Uh, I gave them an A just because they did uh, go through adversity. Um, but I am interested to see how this team gels with everybody because when they had everybody, they was like a team that was one game above 500. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They would look like they were struggling. So I know right now we're enjoying this Donovan Mitchell ride, and he he's kind of pushing them through. Uh, all the way up to the fourth seed where they were sitting at like the eighth seed. So I am interested to see how this all works out now with the full backcourt of Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, and then Evan Mobley. Because I just don't know how it all – they haven't yet, over the last two years, put it together really good all together. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, uh, I mean, last year they was better. Yeah. This year it's just they, they fumbled yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah, they But did. they had like the highest point differential in all yes, of basketball last year. Um, number one defense too. But, yeah, yeah. they th- their, their success is after – April. Yes. You know, um, but yeah, the fact that Donovan Mitchell been able to keep them afloat, him and Jerry, I don't want to say nobody yeah, else, Jerry but Allen too. Um, everybody here keeping them afloat yeah. was, was pretty dope. Uh, right. A minus for me, just same points Derek made. The adversity is good. Um, my biggest question is when will these guys return? Darius Garland's dealing with a broken jaw. Uh, Evan Mobley mm-hmm. had knee surgery. Are they ever, you know, like, like. I was just looking at it and I thought. Obviously, Garland's coming back from a broken jaw, but the knee surgery. It's not that it's impossible, but, you know, that takes time. When he does return, we got to taper expectations. Yeah. Probably got to throw him in there slowly a little bit. a broken jaw midseason sounds crazy. It's so impressive for them to have a top six defense. It would be six defensively without Evan Mobley. Yeah. Have we overrated Evan Mobley defense? No, I'm just joking. (laughs) I'm literally joking. I mean, they have the number one defense in the last two weeks. I'm literally joking. Oh, okay. That's that's, (laughs) that's, that's what's up. (laughs) Have we overrated Evan Mobley's defense? Seven to three in the last uh, ten games. Yep. Yeah. um, their, their numbers, I'm sorry, before you go, their numbers together this season were like, their net rating was like a 1.6, I think. And then when they've been by themselves, it's been like two plus each. That's crazy. So it's a decision that the front office has to make eventually. Not, they don't need to do it right now, but eventually like, okay, what do we really have here? Who should we keep? Who should we build around? Because uh, together what, what, it's been fine, but not. Talk like, to me. Mm-hmm. Put them GM hats on, yep. all three of y'all. Uh, we we four is in the front office of the Cavaliers. What are, what are what are the conversations we're having? What is that looking like? What are y'all thinking um, when you say we have to make a decision between the two? I think it's probably the best to go forward with Evan that, Mobley. <laughs> Evan Mobley, who? Uh, Evan Mobley over Jared Allen. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying Donovan or Garland. Oh no oh. no no! I was talking <laughs> about the front court. I was thinking, okay. about the front court. That's easy. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah, yeah. Um, that's easy. I thought he was talking about the guards, too. Oh, my yeah. fault. That's that's I should have made it clear. I That's often the same. Did you say back? Did you say front quarter, back quarter? I don't think I did. He just said the two. He just said the two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a mobile. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely going to have a But the thing is, with how good Jared Allen has played, of course, he's been an all-star before, he, he would have a really solid market. Hell yeah. yeah. But a lot of teams do know who their center is. Yeah. You know that, what that's the tricky part about the center position. You're right. A lot of teams know who their center is. Um, and there's just a few sprinkled in that don't know. Like the Bulls, uh, the Bulls don't know. If, the, uh, the Bulls don't think Vucevic their center. He's the Grizzlies don't bad. know who their center is. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Jared Allen with Memphis. That would be nice. That would be nice. But, but I, I think it, they would prioritize yeah. getting a wing. You know what I mean? Because you can. Yeah. That, that's the thing about but the center position, too. You can go like find Jaren. one. I don't like Jaron playing the five. It was I'm not saying la- it was decent last night against the yeah. small ass Warriors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah, <laughs> against the small ass Warriors. The Warriors need a center. Yes, it's they time. It's time. It's time, but if I'm the grit, if I'm the king, uh, the they have Cavs, I'm want. like, they might take a swing on wigs. They might bring them back. <laughs> bring them back. <laughs> we drafted you. They've been looking for a wing too. No, I think, it's not Wiggins. Please don't do it. Please. <laughs> I, think, hey, I, I saw. That you know what? I saw a rumor that had Wiggins and the Cavs yeah, come back. Yeah, I did see that. Too. You saw that too. Yeah. Oh boy. What don't was the it. Warriors getting back? I I, I don't have I have no idea. Fair I have it no out. idea. I hope not. <laughs> Ain't no way. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, Pete. Uh, they said Evan Mobley was in week four. Of like the six to eight weeks, but his coach last night said that he don't. They don't have a time a return mm-hmm. on the table. That's why I said that. But okay, that's yeah, good to know. Four. He's in a fourth of the eight. Say, weeks. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's up to uh, week four in the six to eight week time period. So he's really he's looking like at a March, way. early March. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, they said that it's the arthroscopic knee surgery. Ah. so it's it's that stuff. <laughs> And you know that's but stuff. that's that's advanced now. <laughs> you when, sound like somebody uncle <laughs> when somebody get hurt. Yeah. 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 Because Amari Stoudemire had that. And Amari Stoudemire with kinda, the knees. He wasn't the same athletically. Mm-hmm. It helped his game progress. That's when he started to get that little mid range jumper. But he wasn't. I remember he had to. He missed a lot of time uh, mm-hmm. that year when he had the uh, arthroscopic <laughs> ah. surgery. <laughs> That's how I be when I see somebody roll their ankle. Yeah, you do. You yeah, but you, you go do. a little. You, yeah, yeah. You run off the set and shit. <laughs> 
Uh, we're gonna get to, let's do Denver Nuggets and we're gonna take our first break of the episode. Uh, they are 28 and 13 on the season. Um, maybe I should have been saying this the whole time 10 and 10 against teams above 500, 18 and 3 against the people that are below 500. So dominating the sub 500, um, doing okay against the over 500 teams. And in my opinion, still look like the favorite to win the NBA Finals. How are y'all feeling? Uh, I gave them an A. I feel like they're just coasting. They kind of just take it, they just kind of just going through the going through the season. Um, Jokic is still playing amazing. They missed Jamal for a little bit, but it seemed like Reggie Jackson came in and they filled that void like it was no problem. Um, but for the most part, the team just kind of just going through the going through the season, just taking care of business. I agree with Derek. It's man, it is so it's so fun to win a championship because then yeah, you can come in and coast and experiment yep. and try things. Hey, Peyton Watson, you go and, and they're coasting. Some... They're one game away from the one. Season. One game yeah. away, <laughs> like, and they don't have anything to prove. Yeah. They don't have any. Jokic they, had a game. You said they're ten and ten against yeah. the real competition. We're not bad in the ass. Yeah, we don't cares. care. Jokic had a game where he took three shots and he had like sixteen assists and like eight rebounds. Who's that again? That was against a really the bad Pistons. team. It was against yeah. a yeah. Okay, yeah. he was literally <laughs> just out there. Just he he literally just showed up to work. It's your he time. Did, yeah, <laughs> Let us he had zero shots at like the half or end of the court. Something. Yeah, he was just yeah. passing. I remember a tweet that said he's the the anti Joel and B because when he go against bad teams, he just don't score. They play tonight. They play tonight. Hopefully. But right now. Jokic is questionable. Yeah. I just checked. Usually, what about Embiid? Embiid is good to go. He said yesterday in his post game, he's good to go. Usually, Joel is the one that's questionable. Yeah, so we'll see. I think I think Jokic's better. Jokic play. is usually like the type that he's going to go out there and play. I don't think he's missed a game yet. Honestly, I think he he's Jokic played. Jokic is a typical game. Oh, game. he's a typical. That's Iron funny man. that y'all just said that. Oh, please don't. Nicole, he, he did miss the game because DeAndre Jordan had his triple had he, that damn near that triple did. double right? Nicole, against the Clippers, right? Yep. Nikola Jokic hip. Now listed probable for Tuesday. Yeah, that was, here. Let's go. Jamal here. Murray leg, probable. Whew, Aaron Gordon Hill, game. probable. Got, hey, all hey. three of the games today are amazing on paper. Let's go. All three of them. Bro, all five of their starters are probable. That. I hate that. Because you know why? It seems like when we have a good slate of games, they disappoint. <laughs> like It seems like there's always those really good games that you're looking forward to, mm -hmm. and it's just... There was Someone no other. No, nah, the worst night was when Buck we had Celtics. like four. Yeah, Buck it was like, was like we had that, like yeah. six, seven games, and like five or six of them were blowouts. Yeah, yeah. The one night we had fourteen games, ten of them were like ten to twenty point losses. I'm just like, it was the largest margin of uh, victory on a game or a night with more than ten games. The yeah. average margin of victory is nineteen points that game. You know what to help y'all? <laughs> What's that? College basketball. <laughs> Nights like that, you just click over and it's some competitive college basketball games. I've been having a lot of fun not watching games live, but going back. Watching the And you've version. been doing this for years. Yeah. And I was always like, what is Derek doing? You already know the outcome. How fun can it be? But when I know the outcome, I look for specific yeah, you look stuff, for and it's just better that way. It is. Y'all help. Y'all did that for me yesterday. Um, I was watching the football game, and so when I clicked over, my NBA TV wasn't playing, obviously, on my monitor, and I missed the end of the Heat Nets. But hearing y'all talk, I rewatched the end of the fourth and then the overtime, and I was able to see Dennis Smith Jr. play good D. Jacques Vaughn doesn't challenge it. Mm -hmm. He don't challenge it. They keep the timeout. They don't, they don't even timeout. use the timeout. Yep. And Mikael Bridges shoots a shot. I was able to go back and see that. So, um, yeah. It's, it's actually a really good way. Now, you are losing the, like, being there for a Damian Lillard game yeah, winner yeah. if you're not watching. Well, I'm, I'm going to watch – what I need to watch, but it's when you have 11 games or 12 games on it a it's day. It's hard to catch. It's you're hard not, to catch. You, there's no way you're going to watch all of them. And, yeah. and the game ain't even get over 100 points. I love the videos on YouTube that show me every single basket. I rather oh, watch. Yeah. I, I like it. To, sometimes they try to condense them and make them eight, but you'll be watching and it'll jump up to a certain specific. Yeah. You're like, what's Team happening? up at 20, then yeah. you come back. It's a I like to see game. the 13, <laughs> like, 14 God, minute version of it where yeah. I'm seeing everything, every possession. NBA, all, all possessions, like 30, 40 minutes yeah. every night. I love that. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Uh, on the other side, we're going to talk about the New York Knicks. But for now, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Why should you bet with Caesars Sportsbook? Two words, Caesars Rewards. Every bet brings you closer to the type of benefits only Caesars can offer. Hotel stays, VIP experiences, sports and concert tickets, and more. It's not just an app, it's an empire. And we back. Uh, shout out to our to our sponsor, to our sponsor. Let's talk about the New York Knicks. <laughs> Austin We're, hilarious. He be trying to talk to us with sign language. I don't have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> we should we should all learn <laughs> ASL right. to communicate be behind like, the scenes. Hey, <laughs> I, I said so big that he can now comfortably walk. Yeah, he is something. a crawl. He has got a crawl underneath the so camera yeah. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> like he had. They see all. They see his back pocket and shit. <laughs> oh, can and he then, catch it though? Oh, he's gonna toss it to him. You could toss it. Okay. Oh, he ain't got no hands though. 
Oof. Okay. Stop playing me, man. Okay. Stop Deep playing. Deep love saying somebody ain't got no hands. That he, he don't have. No hands. You don't have no hands. <laughs> you play football, they put your ass where? On the line. All right. <laughs> can, we get, can we get to the next scene, please? <laughs> yeah. The Since next, they want to talk about my hands. All right, 23 and 17. Um, I think they just lost, what, their second game in the OG Ananobi era, lost to the Orlando Magic last night. Which is a terrible loss. I know we didn't have Jalen Brunson, but God, come on, man. Uh, shout out to Miles McBride, though. Come on, man. Shout uh, out to Miles McBride. But you don't lose to no Magic team that don't even have Franz. With Bach. no Franz. Come on, man. Stop that, that, playing on Pelo. Uh 16-0 against the sub-500 team. So they, they have the... They're the only undefeated team against sub five hundred teams left in basketball. But on the other side, seventeen and or seven and seventeen against the above five hundred teams. But since the OG on and trade, they've beat a few above five hundred teams. Hashtag quality. So they're wins. not getting they quality have, wins. They don't have. Uh, phew, since don't the trade, have we have quality they, wins. Since the trade, before the trade, it was a lot worse for sure. <laughs> yeah, seven and seventeen. I seven bet that's still that that's that's still better than the Portland Trailblazers, right? Uh oh. The Portland Trailblazers are five and twenty one. Oh, okay. But you know so who is worse barely, than? So y'all barely better than the Trailblazers. You know who got a better above 500 record? Who, the Bulls? The Bulls. <laughs> uh, only that translated man. to the standings. Oh, man. Only uh, it's, only hey, it's slowly getting there. No, it's not. Well. No, it's not. You, if you, you lost to the Warriors? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Clay you Thompson. You just lost Clay to the Thompson. Grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't have a job. Clay Thompson turned the bang. clock back. He averaged about 28 points, they 29 have, points against the Bulls. Which is actually crazy. How do you know that? You tweeted that, right? Oh, yeah, I did okay. tweet that. <laughs> but you know what? The numbers are skewed because he had the 50-point right. game. Oh, true. I'm glad that I guessed right because I don't be knowing. People, you know, I follow a lot of accounts that be tweeting that type of stuff. Uh, but, yeah, Knicks. Let's talk about the Knicks. Seven seed right now, mm-hmm. tied with the uh, Indiana Pacers for the six seed. But let's uh, get it understood. When he say the six seed in these conferences, that you, you're really a game a, away from yeah, being yeah, the it's more. Yeah, like you win two games. <laughs> they're one game away from four seed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gave them an A just because they went out and was aggressive and went out and got OG on an OB. Uh, that that for me was a huge W. Uh, you know they they didn't sit on the RG and quickly stuff. They saw an opportunity to go get OG. They felt like it was an upgrade, and I felt like he's one of those great defensive wings that they needed. So I I gave it an A just solely off them going out and being aggressive. I give him a B plus. Um, I the seven to seventeen does concern me. Um, obviously we have a new situation going on with OG. I would I really 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 is pushing and hoping and praying somehow we can get a Malcolm Brogdon. I know I keep talking about this almost every episode. I just see a clear void for him. Um, but we, I'm confident. We in want team. two first. Huh? Two first. You're not getting two first. Why do, why do people say that? You're not getting two first. No, nah, at least How one. many firsts did you get for Dane? He don't even it, know. I don't even remember. You Wasn't it three? You don't even and know. Flip, we flipped Drew for two, right? Um, I'll look I it think up. that's how it happened. I'll look at it. Don't you worry. I don't remember the whole trade. Though. You, Mr. you got three for Dane, but want two for Brock. Hey, he's saying y'all desperate. You got to pay the price. Yeah. The prices then went up. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. And I love Malcolm Brogdon, but y'all ain't even using him right. Uh-oh. He actually played – he actually used to, like, play, like, heavy minutes at the beginning. That's before Scoot started to, like, play as, I thought as well as When they were doing that, that, I thought they were trying to work his value up. Yeah, I did too. For sure. But, but they, uh, they did, though. It was Scoot hooping. took 31 shots to the other get, night. No, 33 to get 31. Right? Oh, something like that. Yeah. Um, And I watched every single shot. Good shots, good looks. Yeah. I think it was only four of them, me and the chat determined, were bad. Like, what are you doing, rookie stuff? He just missed a bunch, but, like, they were leaving him wide open. What was his percentage? Take the sh- it was not great. Take the shots because you're wide open. Uh, he beat Book off the dribble a few different times just using that speed. We're not even talking about the Blazers right of now. 33 sh- <laughs> of 33 shots, how many were threes? Oh, I could look it up. See, Paul George is shooting, like, 40-something percent from three on, like, almost nine attempts. That's very impressive. He's been lighting it up. Put some respect on his name. Wait, what, what is the context of you saying that? Yeah. Like that? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't he's talking the about the three point. Four or nine. Three four four of nine for, uh, from three for School Henderson that, that night. So 44%. You That's take not, that. Yeah, yeah. You got to take that. You got to take that. But the Knicks, what did you grade the Knicks? Um, they basically said everything. I gave them a B plus as well. Um, I, I don't know why. I, I, I get a good feeling about the Knicks. Um, it's just watching them sharing. This is before the OG trade, but I like how the OG fits right in. He doesn't really need the ball to score. He can score off catch and shoot. He can score off cuts. And obviously, he's a really good defender, and I think that's kind of like the staple to it. Yeah. Uh, he's been hounding people again. For sure. Uh, uh, Raptors fans will tell you that before the trade, he was not hounding people like he usually does. Since he's been a Nick, he's been hounding. Everybody everybody go back to their old ways at the trades. Yeah, when you <laughs> disgruntled, you know, you don't play well. Uh, We're happy to have him. 
Let's go to some of the not so great teams. Let's go to the Spurs, seven and, and thirty-two. How much time can we spend on the Spurs other than saying that Wimby's really good? Everybody else is. I was gonna good. say, bro. Good. I I don't even know. Like, I guess for what they want to do, they wanted it. They knew they were gonna be bad. They knew they were gonna be young. So it's like, I just put who cares that you're bad? Like you have. Uh, a great player and like a, a generational player with Wemby and like you can't really look back from that, you yeah. know. Yeah, I just gave him a B. They're doing exactly what they want to do. They're developing Wemby. He's looking fun, exciting, looking like the future of the franchise. And uh, they just they gonna get another top pick. That's all they really want. Hopefully, it's Nikola Topic, point guard. They they could use it. Yeah, I get him like a C plus. You know what I mean? They're just kind of kind of in the middle. They they doing cool. They doing I. I would like to see some progression from some other guys. Um, I also feel like they have some com- they have some competitive games against good teams. Like uh, even though they are still seven, they only have seven wins. But like they've had some really competitive games against some really good teams. They have. Next, Detroit Pistons four and thirty six won a game last night. Yes. Oh, damn! I was about to get them some flowers. Give Jay them a parade. Jalen almost had twenty twenty. Come on, man! They need a parade. They beat a team. That was another really terrible <laughs> team. They beat well, team. they beat the team that was talking shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Kuz, the team, Kuz, just Kuz. It was, yeah, was Kuz, 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 Kuz. You went a little viral there. <laughs> did I? Oh, I did well, see somebody got posted, posted me. <laughs> yeah, finally. Took, a, took about seven years. But, yeah. <laughs> um, the Pistons, I agree with Derek. You got to give them an F. 28-game losing streak. What are we talking about? Um, <laughs> it's just it's, it's just bad, man. It's just bad. But, luckily, they were able to get a win. And um, That's what happened when Isaiah Livers don't have to play for you no more. <laughs> He's on and the Alec, other team. And Alec <laughs> Burks just get to go crazy. What, he dropped 36 34 or something? On like, uh, in like 23 minutes? Well, we can dive into that part, too, where they these two teams made a trade. The mm-hmm. Detroit Pistons acquired Danilo Gallinari and Mike Muscala, and the Wizards got a 2025 second-round pick, 2026 second-round pick, along with Marvin Bagley and Isaiah Livers. Yep. So. Malpractice. $64 million cap space for the Pistons now. Ooh. <laughs> Gordon Hayward, get I ready. Think, Gordon I think Hayward. With, I think with they with them having this money, we're gonna see another like Fred Van Fleet situation. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't I just don't why? see one. But I, I did say on Heliocentric that the Rockets did lay the blueprint. I think mm-hmm. the Rockets laid the blueprint and saying, hey, when you have money like that and you're a team that isn't winning games and you have you, to spend it. You should go spend it in areas that complement your young young guys and get some veteran pieces who align with what the coach is trying to implement. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know if it's going to be out there for the Pistons, but I do think that blueprint is legit. It doesn't mean you have to go spend it on a point guard. You, for the Pistons, it may be a wing. You know what I mean? It may be, you know, but I, I just think that a lot has happened for the Rockets, which I'm sure we'll get to, because they spent money on veterans like Fred, mm-hmm. Dylan, Jeff Green. Jeff Green. Yes. So, you know. No, they could they could do the blueprint. It mostly is like, hey, we got a lot of money, and at one point, y'all really liked Monty Williams. <laughs> I don't know if y'all still do. But that, that was basically what the uh, the Rockets did. Like, we got a lot of money. Ime Udoka, you just saw him coach the other team. They were really good. We're going to put a foundation in. I just don't know. This this is not a class that you take $64 Throw million. Throw a gazillion dollars at Emmanuel quickly <laughs> and make the Raptors match it. Damn. <laughs> That'd be crazy. They just <laughs> traded for him, and now someone just gave him a crazy-ass <laughs> offer. They can't they even restri- match. Restrict the free ace. He's they crazy. They got the money. Uh, the – Detroit Pistons traded two first-round picks to get Marvin Bagley last year or two a year and a half ago, and then shipped two picks away to get rid of him. <laughs> so, just I'm just I'm just saying, n- not the greatest trades have happening over in Detroit. Next thing, they let's talk about two first rounds for Marvin Bagley. Yeah, two second rounds. Oh, two, two second rounds. Oh, I thought you said two first. Two second rounds to get Bagley, yeah, and then seconds. extended him. Yeah. And they was like, that's a lot of money for somebody that's not very good at basketball. Let's get rid of it. And he has some flashes that I like, that's too. Yes, I be yeah. feeling the same way. You know who I kind of get, like, the same feeling of is, like, you look at him on the court and he's doing his thing, but it's also, like, he's not yeah, have, uh Yeah, for the most part. He's Ooh. a four. John Collins. Like, he could put up some <laughs> stats, but the impact is not going to be crazy. Crazy. Kyron. Yeah. All I know is he was asking for post touches when they were when it was a five point game down a uh, five point game a minute and a half to go, like we just not doing that. <laughs> You're two of six right now. We're not giving you post touches, Bagley. And now he's gone. Um, and Isaiah Livers at one point was the worst starter in the association. Now he's gone. And maybe in Washington he could get it together, but who knows? Shout out to the Wizards though. They get two second round picks for two players that weren't even playing for them. Picks, yeah. So hey, even and though you gotta get the, eat the 
Back they, Gallinari's right. playing backup big for the West. They had, I was going to say, they, I know, he, he was they have a good center, bro. <laughs> he had the game where he had a guard and B. They have a legitimate. B gave him 50. Legitimate <laughs> hole for uh, Marvin Bagley to play now because yeah. Wiseman, Duran, him, like, I, I just don't get it sometimes. I hope Bagley has a good year. They, Nobody had the Pistons had, had so a team that Devin drafted. That's a, t- that's a team that Devin All drafted centers. in G League. Like, how the hell you get three centers? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to your Blazers, Derek. Ten and twenty-nine on the season. Uh, how how are you feeling about their season so far? I gave it a C plus. Um, I just I, there was no really true expectations for this team. Um, I think Anthony Simons coming back post injury, he's looked really good. Scoots had his moment. Shane Sharp at the beginning of the season was really good. Uh, I mean, it's a little inconsistent now. He's he's now going into like the six man type role. Um, and then as Chauncey Billups says, he's sticking with this lineup. So I guess Shaden Sharp is clear cut now coming off the bench for the rest of the season. Aiden's been out. So there's no really true gauge on Aiden because like he's he's been gone for a minute now. So um, what about when okay. he was playing? When he was playing, he was OK. Uh, he he had some moments where defensively he looked really good. But then it, he still had those Aiden games where it was just like the impact wasn't there. Like it was still like kind of like up and down. But like. I don't know if he's the center of the future. He's just the center for right now. Yeah. I get him a D minus, man. That's just Duop Reef is on the team now. Shout out to LSU's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I give him a D minus. Um, unfortunately, nothing has really sticked. Yeah. Um, uh, some of that is because Ant has had that. He had the thumb injury to start the year. Um, like you said, Aiden's been out. But nothing has really sticked. But what'd you say? What, well, you're great? Uh, D minus. D minus. Oh. D minus. I just... I'm not getting anything. I, I seen some flashes and some some stretches from Shaden Sharp when they were going against the Grizzlies way back into the early parts of the season, going overtime with the Grizzlies and whatnot. There was some moments there. He was one of the top players in leading yeah, the league yeah. in minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, now his minutes aren't like on school. You know, like I'm being patient because he's a rookie, but like nothing is like, oh, I'm attaching myself to that. Oh, at least they we, we ain't good, but I know we got this. I, I feel that way for Ant, but I think I you know you, you want to see. Knew what you were I think from Anthony yeah, Simons. I feel the same. I gave them a D in part. I mean, we we knew they was gonna be bad, but I think that that's a real thing too. Like even for the bad teams, having something you can kind of like attach to or stick to, it means some. Even with the mm-hmm. Detroit Pistons, as bad as they are, they even had that stigma. It's like I'm gonna tune in to see if they beat this team today. It's it's like. I feel like the Blazers, out of all the teams, they're probably like my bottom one or two. That's like I really don't watch. Really? I really don't want to like tune into their games. I think I they really got a really good broadcast, so I'll be watching Blazers. Games. Like uh, what's the name? This is a team that has seventy-seven points. Lamar Hurd. True. <laughs> Lamar Hurd. Yeah. Lamar That's Hurt. the only reason you know him because he's got your last name. Yeah. Mine is kind of flaky. I like him, like him as a girl come when, on. When I, I did felt, watch him, when they had like Dame and them, like yeah. I would. He I was felt a good like KB at the beginning of the year. I was tuned in. Malcolm Brogdon was doing his thing. Shaden Sharp. Aiden had just got there. Aiden. But then it's like, yeah, I agree with Mike. It was just different. So that's why you I, there's in. nothing I really found. Like, it was just I'd, different. That's why you tuned in because it was like post game. No, I was excited for the people that I had already liked. Like I like, I love. I'm a big Shane Sharp fan. Shane I Sharp like was on, like Anthony Simons. He was a joy to watch because it's like they didn't have everybody there kind of, and so yeah. like he had the kind of the keys and he could take 20 shots a game. Big Jeremy whatever. Grant fan. Like they got a lot of things that I like, but after a while it just became like, ah oh, man, I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, I'm excited to see if they can find a trade for Jeremy Grant this season. Or well, even in off season, mm-hmm. if they don't get it done now, the contract is don't look as bad now that you're watching them play. I feel like yeah. at one point, no, no, no such thing is untradeable. But I thought it would be a little bit difficult to find people that are suitors. I think that but people are calling playing really good. Yeah, so I think like people, people are calling. Would probably buy, buy I think they that. should trade him as soon as they can. Yeah, they should trade him at the deadline. Malcolm Brogdon should be traded, and I think, um, yeah, that's uh, really it. Matisse Thybulle, if you can uh, remember, they remember go. they matched. <laughs> The Mavericks. 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 Yeah, the Mavericks. Yeah. He wanted to be a Maverick so bad. Yeah. Too bad he can't. Um, <laughs> Restricted free agency. C- I gave him a C plus. Um, for first year after trading, one of the top two players of your franchise history, it's not going to be pretty regardless. Um, I, I've enjoyed the fact that they've allowed Scoot to be bad yeah. um, and gave, given him a long leash to be bad. You At know, first I, he had a short leash. Yeah, and it's it's extended. Yeah. Uh, the last couple games, I mean, he's been playing 30 to 40 minutes. Now he was a minus 90 in two games. So, so it hasn't been great, <laughs> but I, I mean, I, I admire that. I think that's just the growing pains of having a point guard. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not too worried about him. Um, next thing we could talk about the Washington Wizards, who you know they made the trade too, seven and thirty-two <laughs> to start the season. Uh, can we not spend a lot of time on the Wizards, I, please? I just gave him a D minus. Okay. Also uh, made a big trade to get rid of Bradley Beal, so this is their real first year with a rebuild. Like they, yeah. they have, 
negated a rebuild for 15 years, and they finally are doing it. I'm not watching the shit, though. I gave them a D. <laughs> what did it? So their rebuild don't even look sexy though, because it's it's year one. Yeah, yeah. And what they got? They they waited so long. That's the problem. Yeah, it's so long. Do you remember? Because I, I I did this for the Kenny Beach and podcast. I went, went through revisionist history. Do you remember the year of Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman, and Lamelo Ball? Lamelo Ball. The Minnesota Timberwolves did not want that pick. They were calling GMs trying to get an All Star. Bradley Beal. They called for Bradley Beal for the first overall pick, and the Wizards said no. <laughs> Anthony Edwards could be a wizard right now. They would have probably took Wiseman. <laughs> they probably would have. Yeah, I ain't even gonna hold you. That, that front office is ass. Um, Anthony Edwards with the Warriors right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he'd probably be with the Hornets. Maybe. We um, wouldn't have had a, if that was different. We wouldn't have had that moment with Anthony Edwards when he said that's the only team he can't beat is the Wizards. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Maybe if he's on the roster, he'd be averaging forty though. I don't know. It's just it took so long, but I'm not gonna make fun of them for that. It's we've already gone through that. They're just not very good. And right now, Bilal Koulibaly is that's up my, and down as you expect from that's my dog, one of the raw. I gotta prospects. go wear them jerseys. I mean, we <laughs> supposed to get some jerseys. I was supposed to get Shay and Sharp jersey. Nike was supposed to send us some stuff. Oh yeah, I do oh, remember yeah. that. Yeah, whatever that um I guess people just got their own sizes. But uh <laughs> Onward just got all of our jerseys actually. He's just wearing them by himself. <laughs> Hung up with, in the room. with no shirt under it. <laughs> this bare arm jersey and bare doing arms. Cold, uh, it's, it's it's cold ice plunge. plunge with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else about the Wizards? No. Okay, great. Uh, Grizzlies, fifteen and twenty-five. We, we talked about them. He gonna wear it to a party in the middle oh, of the circle. Time of. So not too easy, man. Uh, Golden State Warriors, eighteen and twenty-two. I gave him an F. Damn. Um, fourteen that has championship Damn. aspirations. It, it it just doesn't look like a good competent team out there. So. They're yeah. they're not athletic, they're small, and they're running lineups with Kaminga, Wiggins, and Draymond on the court. If I'm the opposing court, uh, coach and I see those dudes, all three of those dudes, we do not trust them to take a three-point shot right now. Yep. Steph Curry, here goes seven bodies. Yes. Two people off the bench, <laughs> go guard them too. Steph Curry has to deal with a lot normally, but like now since everybody else around him is struggling, <sighs> teams are just like, yeah, we only worried about Steph at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People are not even worried about Clay no more. Yeah. And that's why he gave the Bulls a million points. They weren't worried about him no more. (laughs) I give the same grade as Darius. This is F. This is atrocious. This is tough. Um, And and I I guess it's a little dis. You know how, what's the the opposite of being biased? Uh, Not biased. (laughs) (laughs) We got to create a word for it. I think he he said bipartisan. Bipartisan. Um, That word's not. Did you go to college, Austin? I'm a. No, his girl okay. goes to Michigan, so <laughs> okay. he gets free classes. But anyway, um, because they have ex- uh, a history over this past decade of extraordinary basketball, I feel like I, it, it hits me a little harder that they are looking like this. And um, it's frustrating. The Draymond Green situation in itself, obviously we know what will come with that. Um, some Twice, of the, some of the stuff crazy. with Klay Thompson, seeing yeah. him kind of spiral and try to find his rhythm. And some days he has it, some days he doesn't. The Andrew Wiggins thing, I've seen somebody say, I, I can't remember who, where it came from, but they were like, man, Wiggins is kind of hidden Ben Simmons' territory. <laughs> where it's like, well, what happened? What, like, what is going? what really is going on, brother? Like, Bro, when we're being a savior of them in the finals. Legitimately. Like, and then helping them win a championship to now is just like, he's now on a trade block. He that was bad. the hottest name that you could talk about. He was ideal. Yes. I wouldn't shut up. Yeah. I'm like, man, this is it. This is the blueprint. Aaron Gordon go to the Nuggets. He go here, take these former top picks, and instead of trying to force them to be number ones, put them around other talent and have them be complimentary players. That is the recipe. I would. You couldn't shut me up about it. And Good now way. it's just like, what happened? Then yeah. you have Chris Paul with the hand injury. Uh, I do love it. I'm getting it from AirPods. You have Kaminga and Moses Moody complaining about minutes. Then Steve Kerr is so – he's so hilarious and sarcastic. The very next game, Kaminga leads them in minutes. Um, <laughs> then he has another game where uh, – what was that? He had 28 points and he didn't play the fourth quarter. Who was that against, man? They lost that game. I can't remember who it was against. Yeah. But Warrior fans were all on Steve Kerr's ass. Like, it, I, is Steve Kerr's job safe? No. I don't think so. When I, I gave them um, I gave them a D, and the first thing that came to mind is just, like, for somebody who watched the start of it, like, we're watching the end of their dynasty. Like, it's literally kind of crumbling, mm-hmm. and we're seeing the last bits of it. Only reason I would say it's not safe is just because they seem like they're probably going into a direction of a rebuild. 
Um, they were a team that, unless they make some drastic moves to where they feel like they're still in contention, they could compete for the championships. Bucks. The Bucks is who they I got. think Steve Kerr's job is safe at that point. But if they do go into a rebuild, I would definitely see them. As long as they're not going, there's no. I don't think there is no. There's like there's no rebuild. They're not going to rebuild there. It, if anything, it's, it's got to be a, it's a retool because yeah. Curry, he's not. He's too good. To Curry's try to not go going anywhere. Yeah. You're not going to tell Curry, hey, listen, the next few years we're going to be at the bottom of the league. <laughs> no, there's no rebuild. There I, is can, no I rebuild. can guarantee you that they had the year to do that. They were yeah. five and fifty, L- literally or fifteen and fifty, literally, and then they didn't do anything with it. Yep. Um, I would say Steve Kerr's not on the hot seat actively, but the off season come around, he might be off the belt. You lose uh, seriously. You lose to a Grizz, and I get it, it was MLK Day. <laughs> Yeah, I've been at Memphis and MLK Day. I mean, it's like it's a whole different thing. I tell you, bro, one of the best things I've ever experienced in my life, and we we've traveled the world all together. But I did this by myself, and I was younger. In Memphis, the hotel with Dr. Martin Luther King died. I've been to, and they got the cars are still there. The hotel room, uh, I didn't go in. I couldn't go inside that day, but apparently they still they replicate what it was like and how the bed was. He had crab cakes that was like bitten. They re, you can go and look top five because it's just that that in that in the air just hits you and give you the goosebumps like Mark, Dr. Martin Luther King was right there. Those are the cars. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a lady out there who um, was there who got shot, who, who got shot, who was there when he got shot. She was an older lady. I don't know if she was alive still now. But, she, yeah, she showed me where she was at in the picture. She, the famous mm-hmm. picture of them pointing, she's in there. And she showed me everything. It was, it, but it was so – I know Memphis was loud yesterday. Mm-hmm. I wanna, yeah. I don't, but I don't want to cut no slack for the Golden State Warriors. That was a game you have to for win. sure. Yeah, like there's a lot of times where it's like during the regular season, there's must win. That was a must win game, bro. For sure. And what I hate about it is like the Grizzlies. They definitely has. They was hot. They was making threes, or whatever. But they outgridded them. Yes, yes. they did. They did, I, bro. Memphis had another win early this season. I was like, they just outworked y'all, bro. David Roddy is out here fighting for offensive he rebounds. He, he, he took it from Draymond, like, <laughs> and like, put it in and missed and tipped it in again. You got what, what's the point about Gilliard? Yep. He diving on the ball yes. like Vince Williams. Like they hey. were scrapping and grinding. A lot of love for Jacob Gilliard, man. Mm-hmm. Bro, a lot of love. What five seven? I couldn't tell you. I, I don't. He's know five either. seven though. That's why he get my love. But yeah, he it's had not, play. Not, he had a play where he got it kind of like at the end of the, I think it was the quarter of the shot clock or whatever, and he got it blocked. Like they beat his stuff, and then the very <laughs> next, uh, like two possessions later or whatever, he hit a huge deep three, and I think that gave him the lead too. I'm like, okay, okay, way to respond. What they do this stuff? They blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Richmond University. Oh, okay. Shout out to, to Richmond Spiders. How old y'all right? think he Spiders? is? Twenty four. Twenty five. Be 26 in July. Shout out to the Spiders. Um, anything else about the Warriors? It's been awful. It's been dreadful. I mean, we we um, we got less than a month into the trade deadline, about two and a half weeks. If you didn't know. Which to- feels kind of crazy. Two and a half weeks to the trade deadline? Time's flying. It, it, it is. And we've only had two moves. Is mm-hmm. everything just going to happen at the deadline day? I don't know. I wanted to say I this also, real quick. The Warriors just don't seem like they're a team that has a lot of wig- – like. The wiggle room is Kaminga and Moody. Yeah. And apparently Kaminga's untouchable. Yeah, because if you say no to Pascal Siakam for him, what do you have in mind? Yeah, I don't know what they have in mind then. Because I'll tell you right now, Paul George ain't coming. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Anthony Davis ain't coming. <laughs> like, I don't know what <laughs> Pascal Siakam is like. If you tell me I could get Pascal and I got to give up Kaminga, I'm, I'm, man, I'm licking my chops. I'm, I'm doing the arm bar in the middle of the park. They don't know if <laughs> Pascal's going to resign. Right. I think that's the big thing. And, hey, I don't care right now. <laughs> the Warriors are in trouble, Derek. They just they lost are. to Gigi Jackson. They did. <laughs> and Jacob G- Gilliam. Gigi Jackson can't even drink alcohol to celebrate. He might not way. have a license. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi Jackson, young as hell out there. When uh, we started this podcast, G.G. Jackson was probably in middle school. Like seven years ago. <laughs> he was, That's crazy. He was in middle school. He was in middle school. He was in, he was an eighth grader. <laughs> That's uh, crazy. And he just busted. He ass. was out there dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go yeah. to the Charlotte Hornets, 8 and 29. What is to be said about the Charlotte Hornets, man? Disappointing. When you say new coach, th- this is it. This is it. They need, they, need, they need a new, young, innovative coach. You don't like the idea of bringing Steve Clifford back a third <laughs> no. time? Nah, no. I wasn't a fan. I think what about James Rago? They, bring James Rago back. They need somebody with some swag to match LaMelo. Okay. 
Okay. They need somebody with some so swag. Need a twenty three year old. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know somebody who ain't twenty three, but he got some swag. Who is that? He's a big baller. Well, friend. Oh my god! <laughs> Just about? get a whole franchise to live off. You know what I'm saying? Ball ball. I'm Leandro, forty eight minutes ball tonight. Frazier. Ball, ball Frazier got some swag. He said he gonna be on there to time out. Now listen, guys, settle down. <laughs> we got he La- playing like a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> we got Lamelo. What happened? In the first half, you was wheeling, dealing, stealing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid he'd be a fucking he'd be a W coach. <laughs> now it's the fourth quarter, and they hurting for certain, and what we got ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody back there talk their riddles. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, <laughs> next time y'all watch the Knicks game, there's a specific word, and I mean it's at home too. And they I want to see calling, tweets about it. They was calling Chuma. They was calling OKK. OKK. Okay, okay. They Chuma, do it all okay, the time. Okay. So many commentators call him OKK, okay, okay. and I'm just like, why? Um, I always also hear. Um, see, now I'm about to say it. His name is Isaiah Hartenstein. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hartenstein. If you Stein. watch oh, any yeah, other yeah. bracket, Hartenstein. That's not his name. But um, but that that S T I, S T E I N. It is usually Steen. Like, what's the dude who got arrested? Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Harvey, oh, it's, yeah. it's spelled like oh, that. Okay. When but he then wins. you got Har- but then you got Isaiah who is Stein. Is so it Mark like, Mark Stein too? Mark Stein. Mark Stein. Anyway, mm. listen. Watch the next game from the next broadcast. He's gonna say the word prowess three times a game. Yep, Julius Randle, his prowess. I, the, he, he, the, the defensive prowess of OT. <laughs> you go. I'm telling you. Just what watch next game. Prowess. 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 See, I can't. No, it's no, prowess. Pro- it's just prowess. Oh, I thought it was prowess. It's no, it's no L in there. No. Mike, I can tell you what Prow- it is. I'm telling you prowess? how I hear it. No, pro. Yeah. W E S S. Prowess. Oh, I just thought he was saying the L with what he was saying. I think KB was doing the L. <laughs> it's prowess. A, it's, I ain't never yeah. seen it written. Prowess. Nothing. Prowess. prowess. It's a prowess. skill or expertise in a particular mm-hmm. activity or field. What is bravery in battle? It's three point prowess. Like, all right, we hear it. I'm t- I'm clip it and send it to me on Twitter. I promise you, you're going to hear it. He'd be like, Mike, he has a certain spataz with that pass. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest commentator groups of all time, man. They, they do their thing. Nothing about the Hornets? Okay, great. Uh, let's talk about the Houston Rockets. 19 to 20 now. They've fallen out of the play-in, unfortunately. But compared to where they have been over the last couple seasons, I think this year so far has been a dub. Now, they are tied with the Lakers. Like, it's they could be a play-in team. We don't know. But as of right now, halfway through the season. It's just a shame, though. Because you would think a team that had a star like Jalen Green, a superstar like Jalen Green, would be, <laughs> would be a lot, would be a lot higher in the stands. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, what, at what point do we get to do that? What you could just say stuff. Well, we don't. We're you know, not we, former players. Yeah, well, I'll so say we'll, we'll never have that because Damn. we. Uh, Gilbert Arenas is an amazing player too. He's yeah. not just an ex player; he can actually hoop, which is why it's crazy when he says shit like that. But maybe he sees things that I just don't see. So I got to even give him if that. he does, superstar is not it. <laughs> Because <laughs> who? It was Jalen Green and somebody else. Who uh, else did he mention? Because the other person he mentioned is a superstar. Anthony Edwards. Okay. Wasn't it Anthony Edwards? I don't know. I don't know. It I was, can't remember. It was somebody that was either a superstar or close to superstardom. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like him or Jalen Green. You're like, <laughs> Jalen Green don't even close fourth quarters for his team sometimes. What do you mean, superstar? The Knicks are. We are so good. We are so good. Um, I'm, I'm proud of this team, though. I definitely want to see them get back on track, but I'm proud of them. And um, I think. Ime has done a really, really good job early on. We had the veterans implementing their things and doing they, they, they stuff. But then as of lately, you start to see a little bit more of Cam, uh, Cam Whitmore. You start mm-hmm. to see a little bit more of Amin Thompson. Um, Shingun is playing at an all-star level. That's just my biggest thing that makes me happy is the fact that they realized and seen this is our guy. Mm-hmm. Jalen Green, he was our top pick. That's what we thought we had, and he still can be a good player. But Shingun is the guy who we run his through. Yep. And as long as we run it through th- things through him – It'll open it up and make it easy for everybody. And that's when you start to see Jabari start playing a lot better. And I think those veterans were able to just slide right in perfectly. Fred can shoot his threes. Brooks can shoot his threes. That was what's really been messing them up. You know, Brooks missed time. Mm-hmm. Tar Eason has missed time. They, they've kind of had a little bit of a, a, a rough patch with some injuries. Mm-hmm. But what team has it? It's the NBA. So Yeah, I, I, gave, them a, I gave them an A-. minus. I think they're doing a hell of a job for, like, this season, taking into account, like, what we – thought they were going to be especially with how hot they started out I don't want to like they're supposed to be that top four C because it's just that was never supposed to be like that but I like to think about like from what they were last year to it feels like every game they're in now it's a close game 
Like I feel like they've been to a lot of OTs and they've been one of those teams. It's like they're gonna be, they're gonna fight the whole game and they're gonna get, do do like the grit and grind style. Yeah, I, I gave him a B just because uh, I do love <laughs> the addition of Fred Van Fleet. I knew the contract at the beginning was a little questionable, but when you see what he brings to the table late in games, he's definitely like their closer. He definitely has the ball in his hands a lot. He's making the right plays, whether it's passing it, making the right pass, or taking a shot. His high IQ down the stretch of games has definitely helped this young team in order to at least be in those situations and learn how to close out games. So, yeah, I gave him a B plus. Next team, Toronto Raptors, 15-25 and 25 on the season. Um, I actually didn't realize it had been that bad, 15-25. and 25. I thought they would be much better this season. They yeah. started off a little bit better. So I just gave him a, I gave him a D plus mm-hmm. just because I feel like it's kind of an underwhelming season. Um, they did have Pascal and OG. Uh, for a good portion of the season, Scotty was out playing at an All Star type level, and then for them to still be fifteen to twenty five is just like damn, mm-hmm. that's kind of bad. I gave I gave him a C minus, uh, C minus, just for like for as long time they kind of just kind of stayed with that roster, but finally made a trade and made a move, which I think was the right direction. So I yeah. gave him the bump there, but they kind of had like a Toronto Raptors season where the offense is really sh- the offense has been pretty shaky, the defense is. I mean, with OG gone, I think they're still trying to figure it out. Uh-huh. You have Scotty, uh, Scotty now trying to be like probably the primary defender instead of OG. So it's like you have things to figure out now, and that's okay when you're making changes. I feel like it's a little bit – it looks bad when you had the same team for several years and you're still going through the same mistakes. But if you change it up, at least you can try to expect some different results. I agree with Mike here. I give him a B plus. I think that trade really opens up a lot for them to change the tides. Um, I love the tenacity that they, that they coach have. Um, I, and I hope that Pascal Siakam gets traded so they can keep implementing the change because that's what Steph Curry basically was saying about the Warriors, to keep doing the same thing and hoping for different results is just insanity. So um, at some point you need some changes, and the Raptors did it. And I think long term I like the duo of Scotty Barnes with Emmanuel quickly, and um, we'll see what we can get with RJ, but you know how the thing goes with RJ. Some games he's really good. Some games he's like, what are you doing? So, um, yeah. Have y'all um – how much do y'all value the fact that Pascal Siakam wants to stay? Like, if you were a GM of a team and a guy that you draft, I think he was 27th overall or something like that, you turn him to an all-star, he made an all-NBA team, and your team is going in a different direction, how much do you value the fact that he's not, it's not like he's asking out, he's saying that he wants to sign an extension. Does that matter to you, or do you still think about dealing him? It matters. It does. Um, it, it depends on his price tag and what he's wanting. If he wants the Supermax, then I got to do what's best for me as an organization and know that – if I'm going into a direction of a rebuild, giving you a supermax hinders me, and like it is, it messes me up for the future. So why would I even do that? So I got to do what's best for me, and it's just business. It's not personal at that point. I I kind of agree with these. I like I said, it matters, and I guess it allows you to understand that you're doing something right to have somebody that want to stay. But at the end of the day, it don't matter for me to trade you because I have something I need to do. They it just it's it's, it's conflicting a little bit. So mm-hmm. I, I I get it, but. It don't it don't matter for me. I'm a, I'm a trader, but it matters, I guess, in the relationship or whatever. But no, nah, definitely got to do what's best for the team. I agree with P. Uh, next thing we got is the Atlanta Hawks, and after this, that's all of the teams that are bad. After after the Atlanta Hawks, we go well, all of the teams that are missing the playing because some of the playing teams are bad. Uh, Sixteen and twenty three, they won a game last night against the Spurs. But before that, they had lost a game by twenty seven to the Washington Wizards. <laughs> <laughs> How are y'all great in the Hawks? Because if y'all remember when we were doing our rankings, me and Pierre had the Hawks really Top high. Six. We thought team. that was a playoff, like a real playoff team. And here they are, maybe selling, maybe retooling. We don't really know exactly. It's It's been bad. I gave him a D just because they're still stuck in this burger door. I, it's, this is one of those most confusing teams we've seen because, <laughs> like, post that conference finals run, it's just been downhill ever mm-hmm. since. They haven't at all hit that trajectory again. They haven't nowhere went to that direction of being able to get back to that team. And uh, it's just very unfortunate. Because, like, when you make that type of run and you look that good, you expect to capitalize on it. They tried to do that with the DeJounte trade. That 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 just went straight to the wall. It, didn't, it, it literally went to nothing. Now they're trying to flip DeJounte into something else. But I still don't think what you're getting for DeJounte is going to put you back in that direction anyway. Yeah. So you're essentially going to try to – Get two first round picks for him. That's what the, that's the price tag for right. him. You're gonna get those, and now you're gonna have to wait for those picks to develop and, and see if you can hit on those. So like, I know Trey Young is young, he's very good, <laughs> but like, it, I, they're just in a bad spot. You might end up even having to trade Trey Young at some point. You might have to yeah. consider it. I think um, you answer the phone for Trey Young right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, you ask, I think you take calls for both players. I know they say that him and Jalen Johnson are untouchable. I think Jalen Johnson has taken that step to where he looks like he is their forward for the future. Uh, but Trey Young, I still think you should take calls for. Mm-hmm. It's it don't it don't it, nothing bad can come from it. Yeah. Nothing bad. You don't have to trade him, but definitely gauge it. I think would be smart. Um, but I, they're probably going to keep him. So I would I want to I do want to see this phase. I want to see the less is more theory with Trey Young. Um, because I think the, the DeJounte thing was their splash. That was yeah, supposed yeah. to be like, oh, mm-hmm. we, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a less is more thing is important with this team because I think when I look at them and I see they're rated 27 defensively, that's never going to cut it. It's never going to cut it. Which is crazy because they have like a, a defense, like their starting lineup looks solid defensively at least. It, it, on paper, it looks like it should be not one of the bottom For six, sure. I think. Yeah. yeah. So I would just let it. Build this team with some size around Trey, mm-hmm. and, and put the ball in his hands. Just accept the fact. Mm-hmm. Just put the ball in his hands. Go get a Mari Spellman. I was saying like they feel like kind of like they're. What did you just say? Go get a Mari <laughs> Spellman. A Mari Spellman. He was, y'all a, he was him? a Draymond Green. What do y'all, do y'all remember him? They no. drafted their. Tra- you don't remember a Mari Spellman? You don't remember Mari Spellman? They drafted. What he went to? Oh, I know this. A Mari Spellman. Ah, uh, I know this. Amari Spellman, what college did I, um So Trey was Steph, Herder was Clay. Yeah, and Omari then Amari Spellman was, was Draymond. That Draymond. was the Travis Slank special. Um Was he Big Ten? No. Oh, then never mind. I don't Villanova. know. Villanova. Ah, okay. Villanova I wouldn't have got boys. to Villanova. I would never got to that. Uh, uh I gave Hawks uh I gave them a C minus. No, I, I yeah, I gave them a C minus. I mean, y'all said most of it. Especially with like how good I think Jalen Johnson has been, I think you really got to inter- entertain the idea of like trying to move DeAndre Hunter whenever he comes back. And I don't know, it just feels like they're missing something. I kind of feel like they're in the same boat where the Pacers. They're not as good as offensively as the Pacers, but they also like they like to run up and down, and not play defense. It's just they're not in a good spot. I'm, I'm with y'all. Do y'all think Trey Young could be your league guard on a championship team? <laughs> uh, potentially. Yeah, I, they I went think to the Eastern so. Conference it, Finals with him as league guard, so potentially. They won that. For, that was very close to the final. Yeah, I mean, it just also seems like he's such a hinder on the other end. Like he offensively, is. he's so, so great. But like, I know Steph Curry had those question marks at the beginning, but Steph Curry isn't as bad as Trey. He's a lot bigger. He's, too. Yeah, he's a, and he's a lot bigger. So like, Trey Young will always be a defensive liability. That's why it always seems a little questionable to me. But I mean, the dude is giving you twenty seven eleven. You ain't just finding that anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. I think his defense has been a lot better this year than any other year of his career. He did that don't say make this it, is his best year defensively. I, and I think he, yeah, I think he it is. But that doesn't make it a good year either. Yeah, no. it's just his yeah best I, can, year. I can sing my best. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you my best singer. I don't think you're going to like that shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to answer that. The yet, funny thing is I have a rebuild with the Hawks, and I've been waiting to start it. But the DeJounte thing you're was lingering, so it. I'm like, I'll wait. Mm-hmm. Cause I would hate to start and then they trade him the day after. So I've been yeah. trying to wait, but now I, I know it's the people are like, "Come on, P, where, where is it?" So I think today I might start it and just bite the bullet. Yeah, and do then your it, thing. Tomorrow he's gonna get traded to. Because who Lakers. knows? They might make the wrong trade that yeah, you don't true, even like. True, They're gonna trade him for some pieces that you don't even want on your team. True. Uh, all right, let's go back to some good teams. Uh, so be on the lookout for that uh that that Hawks rebuild. P, we the game or go subscribe. Should be out next two days. Milwaukee Bucks are twenty eight and twelve. Three games behind the Boston Celtics. Uh, how, how are we feeling about the Bucks right now? I uh, gave him a B plus. Um, I think the Damian Lillard trade and the Giannis trade it took a little minute to jail, um, but the defense it, it has been very questionable, um, and that for me is a big reason why I'm giving them a B plus. If they if they were gelling defensively and it's, and it was all cooking, looking sexy, then I I'd <laughs> probably be more into the A A plus range. But when you have like a 20th ranked defense in the league, it's it's kind of hard to look at you as a true contender. Mm-hmm. What what is uh, and I don't expect you to have the exact answer. What's the cutoff? Like, do they have? Do you, would you want them to see be top fifteen, or are we talking they need to get to top ten defensively? Like, uh, how do you how do you top fifteen, top twelve? I think you need to be able to get consistent stops, and I feel like that backcourt is just. I know Malik Beasley's sniping the hell out the ball. He is. Mm-hmm. He's shooting at like forty seven percent from three. Uh, you already know what Dame is doing. Like offensively, that what team, is Dame doing? He's averaging about 27 You already know what they ain't doing. Because <laughs> they ain't. Can I say something to you for that answer? Of course. Uh, we we talked about them, uh, maybe on the last one. And, yeah, they have gone up in the rating on mm-hmm. their rankings and things. But when I watch the team, 
with you my own two eyes, stuff. I see the yeah. same. So in my mind, yeah. I'm like, did they go up because they played some not so maybe good teams? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or they had some games where they really handled some teams. Yeah. But like when I'm watching the transition defense, it just looks the same. It's horrible. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. it's like that's what I'm necessarily looking for. And well, I, I, I don't still getting beat off the dribble. I don't want to like, be unfair to the Bucks. Yeah, but I just knowing what they're playing for, knowing their aspirations, I I, I need to see them with my eyes yes. versus ranking. Some other teams are getting away with, hey, the Thunder are top, you know, whatever. But also the Thunder with my eyes, I've seen certain things. Yes. With the Timberwolves, I've seen certain things. I'm probably just gonna have to see the Bucks make a change because, like, mm-hmm. even if they stay right now, they probably would like nine. What did they say? Nineteenth, right? Let's just say they get to sixteen. If they doing the same shit, I don't care that they're 16. But if they get to 17 and I'm saying, you know, maybe they haven't gone up in the ratings, mm-hmm. but like your eye test is telling you, they, you know I, I see something yeah. different. Because uh, that's Matt, all they need. All you got to hit is that little stride in the mm-hmm. playoffs and it's a whole different conversation. Yeah, cuz I was uh, I was thinking about this earlier cuz I was looking at the Mavericks and they're kind of like they're moving up a little bit too. I think they're like 19, 18, which is for the Mavericks, that's pretty You take that. You you want to take that. I was like they can get it a couple higher, it would probably look even better. Like, for a team that's a top five offensive team, if you could just get stops, you know, a, a small percentage of the time, you give yourself uh, give yourself a good chance to win it every time. And yeah. the Bucks going to have that luxury too, but you got to find out how can we stop people when we really need to. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, Pete, but I want to give the numbers too. When they've gone against a top ten offense, so we're talking about the top ten. I don't need to explain that. Um, <laughs> defensively, they're 11th better that's good to hear yeah yeah um you know who's number three when they go against the top 10 offensive teams the bulls the, the denver nuggets oh just thought he was setting st- up a bulls one. Oh they no just, they're, they're bad. just shutting down top 10 offenses. they're just shutting down top 10 offenses okay. only only teams better is minnesota who's just the best defense in the league and the young orlando magic have the best that is just defense. weird to me because how are you shutting down a top 10 uh, offensive team, but then I watch you against the Spurs and you don't have any defensive And I'll be looking oh, at that because you understand. remember early in the season they were like so they had told... They probably just played to their level of competition. Or when they go against play. the bottom 10 offensive team, they're 17th. Yep, that makes so sense. So they're worse. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when they told yeah. Adrian Griffin like, we want Brooke Lopez to just stay back and guard their paint on those pick and rolls. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I see when I watch them. It's like on defense, especially with the guards, I know they're going to go off because Brooke Lopez is going to stay back. And they take advantage of the And they take advantage of the mid-range. Yes. They didn't, cause that's why, uh, who was it? I think it was it Jalen Brunson. Or like anybody that can get into that mid-range and just get, like, get the numbers. I was seeing Trey Jones do his thing. <laughs> anybody. TJ McConnell was abusing. Because you're going to have the space. You're going to have the space. Because sure sure. it's not like Dame and Malik Beasley got that, that wingspan or like that defensive effort. They're going to get all the way back in the playoff. Of, like, I a thought dude. the same thing. I, wa- I was watching this. They played the Spurs. Uh-huh. And I kept just like replaying. Like, re- I, I just zoomed in on that game. And um, that was the thing I picked up. Like, p- yeah, they give he drops so far back, and teams are aware they're not going to. Popovich is not telling Trey Jones to go drive into his chest. Mm-hmm. He's a shot blocker. Yeah, yeah. I was talking We're about Jalen Brunson. Occupy? No, for sure. No, I meant to me D Fox the other day. He was getting D Fox. D Fox getting to the mid range, <laughs> getting to the floater, getting all of that. It's just like at some point there's there's a, so many good players in the, in the league. That is their shot. To give yeah. them that when all game the is heat, crazy. Tyler Hero is going to take advantage That is crazy that. to give them that shot Here's all another game. jarring statistic now that we hear. We said they were 17th against the bottom 10. Mm-hmm. They were 11th against the top 10. In that middle 10, they're 28th. Oh, my God. So when they go against middle, middle of the pack offensive teams, they're awful. That's probably because the they just like, we don't know. Like, they don't got no designated scouting report. Does that make sense? So it's just like. No, they don't because I guarantee <laughs> they do. Yeah, I guarantee that's somebody's job. They have a scout report. Adrian Griffin got twelve assistants. But one of them better be doing some type of damn scouting report. We're not even giving them that that weak ass excuse. This is I, I didn't even know this. So was the a middle ten, cleaner. you said? Yeah. So this is the Pelicans. Mm-hmm. This is the Suns. This is the Kings. The Golden State Warriors. Toronto, Utah, Brooklyn, Miami, Minnesota, Cleveland. These are the teams that They're are in that them problems. Man. That, yeah. Uh, off it, this is the same thing, tangent, though. But they locking up the Hawks. They locking up the Hawks. <laughs> they, met, they messed the Hawks they up. Had a bad shooting game. Uh, going against the top 10 defenses. Can y'all guess the top five offenses going against top 10 defenses? Does that make mm-hmm. sense? Yeah, yeah. The Mavericks. The Mavericks are not top five. Okay. The Phoenix Suns. Oh. Phoenix Suns are number two, Derek. The Celtics. The Celtics are number one. Yeah. Okay, the Denver the, Nuggets as well. Uh, the Nuggets are not the top five. What? Oh, the Pacers Joel, Joel, are Joel, not no. top five. The Sixers. The Thunder. Joel, no. The Thunder. <laughs> Are number four. The, the Clippers. Um, are we just not? 
Like not the Sixers are. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did y'all y'all say Indiana? I said Indiana. And I said no, I'm sorry. Indiana is in there. So right now y'all got Boston, y'all got Phoenix, y'all got Indy. And I don't remember what else y'all said. I said the Sixers. Sixers are not there. Okay. I said the Thunder. The Thunder <laughs> I got too. Um no, I'm sorry. They're are they're six. The, they're right the Bulls outside. randomly in there? Hell no. Okay. The Nuggets? No. I said uh The Pales? N- uh no. Kings. The Magic. No, no. The, s- the Spurs. No. <laughs> I just said I I'm thinking of just probably some random. The Timberwolves? Team. No. Dog. Y'all might have said this team. Say it. Did y'all see Atlanta? No. 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 Okay, well Atlanta's there. And then Milwaukee's there. Oh, oh okay. when they go against the top ten defenses, well, duh, they, score, they just scored the a million points offense. against the the hell. The what team is that? Yeah. The, the, the 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 Celtics. Celtics. The other Celtics. Night. Yeah. Celtics. Um, either way, they did uh, that to the Celtics. <sighs> there are oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, six. Between the the bottom six teams, Detroit, Washington, Charlotte, San Antonio, Portland, and Toronto. They have five total wins against teams that are top 10 defensively and uh, 24, 36, 42, (laughs) and 50 losses. Is that crazy? They yeah. can't be t- – anyway, anyway, anyway. Too much of a tangent. We got a lot of teams to go through. Do We see, we did not go through Minnesota Timberwolves, correct? No. Mm-mm. Minnesota Timberwolves, number one seed in the a, Western a, Conference. A plus. A plus. A plus plus. They've just done, done their thing. Mm-hmm. They've done their thing. Even, even with certain injuries, like Jada McDaniels is kind of like in, out, in, out, in, mm-hmm. out. They still hold it down. Um, Rudy Gobert's missed time. Yep. Not as re- mm-hmm. yep. yep. Cat has been finding his rhythm, like, compared to what happened last year when they were trying to make everything jump. How many All-Stars they got? One, unfortunately. Okay. I, I want to give them two. Being the number one seed, though. The Western Conference is stacked. You get 12 spots. Let's quickly do it. Just quickly. Yeah, no, 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 I know, I know. Who are the locks in the Western Conference? It's going to be Shea, Luka. Jokic, Luka, um, Anthony Davis, Braun. I got something for y'all. Okay. This is for my boy Hoops Empire, right? That's kind of crazy. To so think. listen to this. Uh-huh. Count your, do your counting. Yep. The locks. Luka. Luka's a lock. Shea. Yep. Durant. Yep. LeBron. Yep. Jokic. Indeed. Curry. Indeed. Edwards. Indeed. Anthony Davis. Indeed. Kawhi. Locks. That's nine of your spots. So you have spots. three picks, right? Booker. Mm-hmm. Cat. Kyrie. Rudy. Ingram. Fox. Sabonis. Singoon. Chet. PG. Marketing. Zion. Yeah. Out of those. And, B- and Bain was on the short list, too, before it's Out of those 12, you have to pick three. Like, it's it's impossible. Yeah. And it is so crazy to think that the Lakers are a team that's out, potentially outside yes. of the playing. Talk about it, Derek. They, they get two all-stars. The Suns get two all-stars, too, in most cases. Hey, we, we're still bad. We just got two really good players. That makes no sense. I think the Timberwolves deserve that reward more so than those so, that Lakers team. So you're right cutting right. off Anthony Davis for Carl Anthony Towns? You're cutting off LeBron for Carl Anthony Towns? They deserve it more. They're they, the number one. I asked you the a best question. Team in the I asked you a question. Are I'm not you, cutting off LeBron. Oh, so you're cutting off Anthony Davis. And Anthony Carl Davis has been amazing. Because he's Anthony the Davis better player. Been <laughs> he has been the best. But looking at that team. I'm asking it, you, Derek. Are you cutting off Bron or Anthony Davis for Carl Anthony Towns? No. Okay. Not that, not. You know why that, I love it's, this, it's though? It's so hard. It's you so know hard. why I love this? I agree this? with you, though. They should get to I it. have always been a person who has said the all-star game is for the all-stars. I love the fact that you can say, man, they team doing this, this team doing that. But at the end of the day, you want to see all-star players. So that was when they started doing that shit and the Hawks had Kyle Korver, <laughs> dog. I actually don't remember much of that. Did anybody get majorly snubbed? I don't remember. I can't remember off the top of my remember. head. But at the same time, that type of shit is what always now get people to think, man, oh, they're number one. They're number one. They should, they should have three three all-star. And it's like, I, I get part of what you're saying, but who is having a better year? Mm-hmm. Rudy? Cat? LeBron? AD? That's how I'm picking my all-stars. Yeah. I used to feel, I, remember, I swear, when we first started the podcast, we had a conversation very similar about this type of stuff. And I don't remember the whole context, but I know, I thought I, I was on the other side for a little bit, where it's just like, if you were higher up in the standings, you you kind of earn that recognition. Especially, you, don't have to, you don't have to be no legitimate all-star, or like every year type all-star. As long as you kind of like were in that mix, you were very valuable to one of the best teams in the NBA, you should have that shot. Yeah, I don't really feel like that no more. It's and maybe just, it's because we've seen sometimes where it's like, 
I mean, deservedly, Wiggins got it, or like Mike Conley. So, you know, like I, I like seeing the best of the best in the All Star game. Yeah, but it's you not, know, and and the best of the best. The there is no best of best. Who? What? They're like eleventh and tenth seed. They're Who? right there. The Lakers. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of crazy. They but still I mean, have LeBron and Anthony. Davis. Yeah, yeah, but also with the context, it's like. They win two games. Yeah, I was gonna say we're. You know what I mean? Like we're not too far out from like the. I think like the the, seven. Again, granted, that's not the top four no shit like that. But like I get what you're saying. But they are like two games. You know what I'm saying? They they win. They win tomorrow, and and they could be in a different spot. Like it's that tight. But again, my my other point is this ain't. We not saying Cade on a four and four and thirty six team deserve a spot. We're not saying they do have nineteen wins. Like twenty. They have twenty now. Oh yeah, they won last night. Yeah, yeah. Who are you talking about? The Lakers. Oh yeah, had a twenty and twenty one. Twenty and twenty one. Uh, I I get part of I get part of both, but it to me it's just player for player. When I get to that point, we're picking the last three spots out of those nine locks that we had. I'm going player for player. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking at oh man, Rudy on they're twenty eight and eleven. That that's personally not ever going to be my mindset. I try to take everything in consideration. The season you're having, the team success, all of that, but it's not anything that sways. Oh man, you can't make it because you t- you twenty and twenty one. I feel you though, Derek. I want to get Rudy Gobert in the All Star game too. I feel him on a fact because that was my <laughs> thing. The Lakers, but then when you look at the seasons they have, and it's like, yeah, the Lakers, yeah. the Lakers. Paul George, Jazz yeah, is an All Star. H- historically, uh, every top eight team had been represented in the All Star game, not on purpose, but that's just the way usually because every team usually yeah. every good team usually has an All Star caliber player. And when I did my ballot, every team was represented except for one, and that was the Pelicans. The Pelicans. The Pelicans. Yeah. You don't have a clear cut guy for you. I so Brandon, I couldn't put Brandon Ingram over Paul George. I couldn't put him over Devin Booker. Let me ask you this, Derek. Do you think we should take Curry out and put Kyrie in? He missed too much time, in my opinion. I'm just I'm just throwing on this this I'm just throwing this out here no. because because their numbers are almost identical. Curry, the Warriors are 12 and the Mavericks are six. With that philosophy you just had with against the Lakers. It, yeah. you, so, you know what I'm saying? Like that's all yeah. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But I, I think the Dallas Mavericks already have one. And I don't think being at the 60, the granted. The Timberwolves have one, too. No, no, no. But I'm saying being a 60 doesn't guarantee you two. I'm saying the Lakers being a 10 seed, making them a lock for two, is kind of iffy when the number one seed, who has been the best because in the, the league. Because the number one seed don't have two guys who have yeah. a better season than them. That's all I'm That's yeah. all I'm. I'm, I'm going off of as a season. Yeah, we with get that, what you're saying. With that I get what you're for sure. Yeah. With that mindset, the Thunder should have two All-Stars. They, they only, should. what, a game back from the, th- the Timberwolves? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, who is the Nuggets' multiple All Stars? Because it's only better game for Jokic's legacy if it's Jamal Jokic. Murray never makes it. It's Jokic for sure. The no, Nuggets, no, who are the they? Two? No, they 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 haven't already had two. <laughs> but they're a game back for number one. But By the time think, we get to All Star, like Jam- Jamal, Jamal Murray's, Murray's is, second case is not as good as Kyrie. Then it's Kyrie has like 50, 40, 90 right now. But yeah, and also Jamal Murray's just in such a stack guard league that where he always is going to get cut. But you see what you He's went back to? He went back to comparing the players. Mm-hmm. I'm going off your theory of, hey, you're the top. They're a game yeah. back. By the next time we do the next mm-hmm. episode, Denver could be number one. I would still say they only got one. <laughs> because you're put, comparing the players. Yeah. Just open it up. Give us 20 roster spots. Oh, no, get the, no, get no, the, no, <laughs> no, no, no. That this makes the All-Star no. game so watered down. The pre- they trying the pre- to make it more competitive. No, I don't I don't was, I was joking. I know. Basketball <laughs> is watered down enough. We um, don't need no more. The previous years we had the luxury of injuries – so it yeah. wasn't this tough. Everybody you just mentioned is healthy yeah. and deserve a spot but can't get it. We already got 10 playoff spots with all this false hope. We I don't think need we should no, go to 12. We don't need no more watered-down shit in, in, in basketball. Can we? Can you imagine another play-in? No, Like I an can't. additional play-in? I can't two imagine additional it. play-in games? I, I legitimately like, can't imagine it. I don't want it. You don't, I, want, I, the, you don't want to see the Rockets make a playoff run? No. How how about we do just going to eventually end up to all 15 teams make the play-in? spot in the All-Star game? Mm. Now, now I'm Ooh. in for that. I'm in for that. Okay, wait, wait. Name some of those people again. But they're gonna say that's unfair because Rudy's gonna get his ass busted by Devin Booker, Kyrie Irving. Rudy Gobert better bring it. Well, we know that's not what he does. <laughs> 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 Let's have a shot blocker competition for it. Then we know who's going. Mm-hmm. It might not even be him. He's not blocking many shots anymore. He's just playing really good defense because defense is better. Yeah. Uh, I like the conversation. Like Daniel Gaffer makes it because of that. <laughs> <laughs> he just swatting shit. <laughs> uh, we have not mentioned OKC Thunder, right? I gave them. I, I looked at this team as that kid that did the extra credit on the test, and now he got 120 percent on his test. Oh man, 
I that boy, so they got an A plus plus. They got, they got S for satisfactory. Analogies. Ooh. Yeah, they, they didn't even the get bag, a, got him working C, harder. <laughs> they got an S. S for satisfactory. S tier NBA yes. team. They they, they 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 did everything perfect. Yeah. They, Chet's looking like a rookie of the year candidate. Uh, J Dub is taking that second year jump. Shea is playing at an all NBA level, and then all the role players are just playing so well. They're the number two seed, and it's just like there's there's not many flaws with this team right now, and they're, they're just looking really good. I've made that transition already, Demil. I don't say all NBA. I say he's on the MVP candidate type award mm-hmm. race. I think yeah. he's second favorite on the odds. He's been Jokic. amazing. Yeah, he's a, he's a yeah, real he's MVP, MVP candidate, MVP. man. Yeah, he is. Real MVP candidate. I get him an A. They're just they're doing the damn thing, man. They are hooping. They're fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I gave him an A plus, too. Not only are they just good, they're just fun to watch, bro. They remind me of the young Thunder team. Yeah. He's yes. KD. Yes. It, it's crazy that... I looked at the scene last year and was like, man, they just a center. They just need that center. They got their center they in got check, the and they got it, and then you just saw it just, like, go straight up yeah. from there, bro. And they run it without a backup. Yeah. It's really like Cambridge Williams running yeah. backup five. Because Jalen Williams is still kind of small. Yeah. He's not really a true center. Some so. games he plays a lot. Some games he doesn't. It's, mm-hmm. it's, yeah. Now, they're the success story of the NBA so far. Yes. yes. Th- them in the Timberwolves, by far. Oh, do y'all uh, see them having – could this be similar to like the Kings, where they're now next year teams are now prepared for them? We now see them no, more. No, no. Y'all think they like locked in in this? Yeah. I don't until see a world I, where Chet's not better next season. And until you yeah. show me somebody that can guard uh, Shea, no. <laughs> Sorry, he you could be as the he, league. He they've been trying to get prepared for a while. <laughs> he he got it all when you think about it. Don't head glaze up, KB. Uh, Philadelphia 76ers. He got looks. I know, you, <laughs> I know you saying that. He got the best he got? captions. He got swag. Do you see his cars? <laughs> oh, my God. I saw the Maybach. That's got to be the <laughs> week, bro. Don't ever. I hate when people say that he got swag. He got swag. Oh, the way you said it, it's just like, bro, you know why? relax. You know why they be saying that? What? That's their way of saying that that man is sexy. <laughs> when they got they when they make they two K play a little like they they dream dude. That's that be insane. <laughs> yeah. You do that. I just pick a random player. I be making my two dude look ugly as hell. I'm so face scan. <laughs> <laughs> I, have I always just make my dude look like me. But, yeah, <laughs> when you're playing against somebody, you're playing against uh, you're playing against uh, Adam, little Adam from the chat. His character's black with his the red. Black, black with the afro. Red. We got Tyler talking about he wanted to get the afro with, with the, the pink. pink in it. <laughs> Sheesh. I'll, every year I face scan. Me too. They don't get much Mike's better than scared. that. Pierre face scan be coming out like damn near like him. Mm. It's crazy. Kyra face scan is crazy. Right. <laughs> Kyra got the best face scan. Yes. Just ugly. He's got just the, <laughs> and it's got the same emotionless face, too. It just fits so perfectly. All right, shorty. Uh, Philadelphia 76 is uh, 25 and 13, five games out of the one seed. Uh, Joel Embiid just came back yesterday and put up ridiculous points at the mm-hmm. recorders again. I mean, what can you say? Shot 32 free throws. Um, I gave him an A. But. I, I really like Philly. I really do. And I think they, they obviously would have had a little bit better of a record and been in b- better shape if Joel, uh, Joel doesn't miss that time. But defensively, they've been there. And Tyrese Maxey has kind of been everything what that dude said uh, said he was going to be. He's like, I'd be surprised if Tyrese don't average 25 this season. Mm-hmm. Like, he's been legit. So I'm excited to see what they do. We obviously know their goal is to, to be successful in the playoffs. But from what I see in the regular season, I like it. I just we need Joel and me to play every game. Yeah, at least stay close to it. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Joel. I know a lot of people are complaining about the free throws and whatever, but, like, the thing is when you can't stop somebody, you resort to just hacking. Mm-hmm. And uh, they literally can't guard him, so, like, there's no choice in but fouling him. I know sometimes he do sell that. He do be selling a lot. Definitely. But I think that just comes with the game. You're in a, you're in a league now where guys, these MVP-level players, they are very great at manipulating the refs and selling fouls. All of them do it. LeBron's done it his whole career. Uh, Katie's good at it. James Harden's been good at it. Like, sometimes you just got to sell it a little bit, and he does it, and he gets the calls. And some of them are very granted because nobody can guard him. He's yeah. probably the most skilled big we've seen it's in a It's a double-ended in a long sword time. with him, and that's what sometimes makes it irritating yeah. <laughs> with the free throws is just because, like, you're so good, nobody can guard you. You don't need to flail your arms to get that call. <laughs> like, I guarantee if you just would have finished it like you would have, you probably would have been an and one. Yeah. You know, so that's the only tough part about him. But the perfect thing is, though, he hit he was 16 of 17 last night. Yeah. So, like, he's damn near perfect at the line every single night. Guarantee like, point. I think they're, they're one of the best free throw shooting, if not, like, top ones, because I know Tyrese shoots amazing from the line, too. Mm-hmm. 
And B said he prior, prioritizing his health over the MVP campaign. He's not concerned with the missing games. I like that. I like he that. He got the award. Now yeah. let's go get some playoff success. Yeah, no, nah, the playoff success is the main part for him. Mm-hmm. He already got the MVP award, so let's hoop. Let's hoop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I still want to see them make some type of deal. It don't what have to be deal? the swing for the Pistons. Yeah, it's not a swing. But just add more diversity behind Maxi and Joel as far as somebody that can put the ball on the floor and create for themselves and or others. And then I feel really good about them in the playoffs. But as of right now, I don't feel great, but they got time to make that happen. Uh, two next weeks? Week, huh? Two weeks? Two, two weeks, two, two and a half. <laughs> yeah. LA Clippers are next. They are 25 and 5, 14 on the season. Uh, hey, the, the Portland Trailblazers <laughs> Wait, might that be. That was in sync. Yeah, it that was. That was kind of crazy. The, tr- the Portland Trailblazers <laughs> might be getting Quinn Grimes. What makes you Is say that? Is that what you said, A4? Uh, the, no, I not, said I said A for the Clippers. Not the, for uh, Quinn Grimes. You said A to, to, to talk? And it just this. went, per- that's crazy. Uh, the Knicks are f- actively filling offers for Quinn Grimes, according to rival executives who've been in contact with them and are hoping to land facilitating help behind Jalen Brunson. Mm. I like that. Mm. Oh, never mind. We don't have that. What was you about to do? Trying to find him a way to get to Chicago, but we, uh, don't, we don't have what they're looking for. You said Clippers. The Clippers. We're on the Clippers right now. Yeah, yeah I gave him an A. I gave him uh, an A, too. Uh, especially, we all know they were on that. Um, they were on like a bad losing streak. I think it was like six games they got to before they turned it around. But they started in the gel with James Harden, and they look really good for them, how they started off to how they looking like a like a contender again now. I think that's a, a really big move. And then it's just like it, it's crazy. I think I said in the a Discord the other day when they played the Lakers, this was the first time. I've, I've All my Lakers games, especially watching the Clippers too, I've never heard them chant Clippers at the end of the game. This was a this was a home game for the Lakers, and usually they always so you say saying y'all losing L.A. Are you losing bro, L.A.? It's always been at a Laker town, but for the first Crazy. time ever, I heard them actually chanting like Clippers. Let's close this game out, and I was like, oh shit, we losing our mojo, y'all. We got to get it back on track. But the Lakers have been the same thing. I feel like the last couple of years, obviously the hype every year is always there. They're kind of the same team, where it's mediocre offense for the most part. Like the offense doesn't keep up. Defense hasn't been as good as it usually has over the last couple of years. We're just kind of like a middle of the pack team, you know, led by LeBron and Anthony Davis. But I think <laughs> I'm sorry, keep going. I, 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 it's, it's the truth. I think last game was like one of the games that I think we need to build off of. But we have several people in double figures. Do you remember every, what team we talk about? Yeah, what? he's. Going oh, on I said the Clipper. About, he's been going on a tangent about the Lakers. Oh. I, I just let him go. For I was gonna let him go. Let him go. I, I found myself on Twitter. I just let him go. <laughs> Clippers have been amazing. They got an A from me. Okay. We're, we're, we get to, we'll give yeah, you we do your Lakers next so you can finish your, your thought. I thought we already did the Lakers. Have we done the Lakers? Yeah, though? I gave my F. No, no you, you get the Warriors, Warriors F. F. You get the Warriors oh, F. Well, the but foreshadowing, when you got the Lakers <laughs> F. <laughs> I know his great. Uh, no, the Clippers have been phenomenal. Uh, they don't <laughs> really lose. I think they lost the – to the uh, Timberwolves a couple nights ago. They lost the Lakers recently, too. Uh, yeah, that was the only yeah, two yeah. losses uh, since December 1st, I want to say. So, it was something crazy. It like was that. like something like that. Something something like, it was that they, six game streak, and then they they really just been out of tears. As um, LeBron said, Talu, all he needs is five games, and he don't get that shit together. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did you shock. hear about the, the <laughs> after, like, after every like training or after every like practice, they have James Harden do the pick and roll practice or like camp with yeah, Zoo. He, he said on, Daniel Tice be there too. He was on they got, uh, podcast P, right? Yeah, Zubac, yep. I had never heard Zubac speak before. They said he sounded like a brother. He he sounded like a brother with an accent, which yeah. don't make sense to me. Idris Elba, you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> Idris Elba was in Daddy's Little Girl. I swear he was American, bro. He got the best American. He does. He watches The Wire. You ain't know he had accidents. You didn't know he's not. He's he's from England. You know that, right? Got no. wires on wires. Bro, he like really he I felt is. the same way when uh, the dude off uh, what? No, not no. It's the Jordan Peele movie though. But that that black dude, he's from. Oh, Daniel Kalu- Kaluuya. He's 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 not from like. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not American. Yeah, he's not American. Either. And I didn't I know that. On, I've been watching The Wire. Oh, all right. That's my show. Yeah, we both been watching. That's why I said that. Clippers what season you want? Yeah. I'm on season. I'm at the end of season one. Oh, okay. That's where why you were last matter, time though? I asked you. <laughs> huh? That's where I was. That's where you were last How time. How long I asked are the episodes? You. The hour long. How and many? It was like yesterday. How many? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And again, this is my fifth time circling the back. Yeah. So I gotta, you know, I'm not one of those people who do that. You and Elena be going to sleep to it and acting like y'all know what's going on. Well, what happened, baby? You, you know, uh, I think he had. No, nah, I want to know. We be going back when we fall asleep. Name me five characters. 
uh, Junebug. Wallace. You got uh, McNulty, the officer. You got Freeman. You got Idris Elba, whose name is Stringer. They got hey, what's the, Freeman's first name? Huh? What's Freeman's first name? It's not Morgan Freeman. Oh, I thought it was Ketchum. No. Oh. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> but that was put right there. And then um, Avon Barksdale. Yeah, five. Avon. Yeah. You got D. I, no, that's funny because I was watching yesterday. I'm like, why? What is Idris Alpha character name? They never it's, say it, yeah. but I guess. Oh, I'm, I swear they did. I'm but like, his, maybe I they'll say it later in my season. But I I'm swear like, they what did. It? Oh, the police did when they was talking about his name. I swear they saw. They said it's like his government name. Okay. <laughs> Clippers got an A for me. Clippers <laughs> got an A for me too. Yeah, they got an A for me too. They got Paul George. Cool, man. <laughs> hey, the glazing is back. Yeah. yeah, as long as they hooping and he hooping, I can't even say nothing about but him. But I don't know if I can identify him by tattoo. Did y'all see the, the, pa- the Paul George twin on Twitter? Yes, you see, they oh, tagged yeah. me in that. Paul oh. George talked about it on podcast. Yeah, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. and dude, did a, dude did a victory lap. Y'all know that clip of Ja in the tunnel? He's like, y'all stay over there at the win. He tweeted that video. <laughs> Because oh. people were making fun of him for doing the Paul George glazing, and Paul George <laughs> acknowledged it. And it's like, oh, man. Uh, uh, but which Paul George acknowledged pa- hey, Paul, Paul George, George said, said you do look like me. He does. He said, I'm going to send you a gift basket of Podcast P merch. He ain't sent me shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the Lakers, Mike. There you go. go talk about your Lakers. You get, you I just get want tw- a birthday card. You get 22 I'll just, seconds. 22 I'll just seconds. say it now. Yeah. Okay. Now let, me, let me look back. For, I, matter of fact, I just gave him a, I gave him a D plus. I think ever since the end season tournament, Ever since the in-season tournament, they've been kind of, like, up and down. They're, they they got to be one of the most rangiest teams. Like, we talked about they can beat OKC, they can beat Clippers, but then they also have tired. games in season where they lost to the Spurs. Yeah. So, it, it's it been the, the usual, I guess, for, like, the last couple of years. Like I said, the offense is kind of, like, iffy. The defense is just hasn't even been as good. It's really just making it on LeBron and Anthony Davis being great at this point. Give What's me your so great? T- he said D I gave a D. Okay. Um, wow. Give me your top three Gross. acquisitions. Not that you're gonna get all three, but if you can, do you want Dejounte? Do you mm-hmm. want this guy? Who, who as a Lakers fan, do you think comes in and help y'all hit the point you want to hit? It's interesting. Tough. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I think Dejounte would be cool, but again, I don't think he moves a needle. Mm-hmm. You know, and I feel like that's one of the bigger names we can try to get because it's mostly just like it's mostly the shooting, and not one person is gonna like make up for all of that. And though Dejounte, I think Dejounte's shooting forty percent from three this season. That's not who he's When he comes to L.A., he's not going to shoot 40%. <laughs> yeah, because he's going to have a ball a lot less. He's going to be in a lot less of a rhythm. He's going to – I don't know. I, I, DeJounte there sounds cool, but it also just don't sound right either. Because, mm-hmm. like, y'all don't do a good job of those attacking point guards, I don't think. Y'all need that point guard like the Gabe Vincent. This is just, just going to get out of LeBron way. Gabe Vincent. Don't mention Gabe Vincent. I know, I know. <laughs> don't mention <laughs> don't even exist in Lakers. You don't mention get, that's Vincent. the type of mode of point guards that y'all kind of need. You know? like, you're talking fit. about the point guards that kind of play off the ball yeah, to yeah. LeBron? DeJounte's not – he's more of a how the ball in his hand, attacking downhill. Or Honestly, own LeBron shots. looking for someone to Yeah, to LeBron not be does that because nobody else yeah. will. LeBron Austin doesn't want to play PG. Austin Reeves is, like, I guess the closer thing to that where he can touch the paint and, and create like that. But usually – it's LeBron that has to do yeah. it to create some type of offense. I don't think y'all offense. getting DeJounte without trading him, though. To Austin Reeves? Yeah. That's okay. I, I mean, just, that's going to hurt us because we that's one of our best shooters. If but. that's the case, I wouldn't do it just yeah. because I don't think the gap between DeJounte and Austin Reeves is is that big where you mm-hmm. like you have to do that. Because you it's not just Austin Reeves. It's something else to make the money work. So it's Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura. Yeah, yeah. For DeJounte, I don't know if that's value to you as a Lakers fan. Mm-hmm. Even though the ceiling of DeJounte is an all-star, can he get back to that ceiling? Yeah, but know. the Lakers also a team that just swing for fences and they just go out for the name. Is he a clutch client? I think he's a clutch client. Dejounte Murray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so he's a Laker. <laughs> he's gonna be. A, he's gonna be a Laker. He's right? already, already said it's raps. It's, he's gonna be a Laker. That's okay, man. A week or Sometimes so. Sometimes when you watch your team, you just be wanting a little bit of change if it's not going hey, right. Who you tell him? You just wanna. You just wanna see something happen. Anything. Yeah. Any and everything is good. I said yesterday, the Bulls trade anybody. They won the trade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who they get in return. You won. Uh, the, the Lakers got a D for me, though. Um, Not the prettiest season. You Especially, just, like, post off winning that in-season tournament. Man. It's just big, big. Uh, just, just, whole, get a big D downhill from, from now. Lakers get a big <laughs> get D. Get a big D from you. They okay. just. Nah, got a big D from everybody. They don't have nothing, no excuse True. either. All Y'all usually they definitely did. What would you say? <laughs> I don't hey, know. Bro, what would you say? What would you say? What did you say? said all those L's they took, they pretty much. They have what? Nothing. 
<laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I. He got it though. Oh, uh, um, it was good. It's good. I want to hear it then. Got to watch it back. Yeah. Got to watch it back. Explain it. Got to watch it back. Got to watch it back. They got it. I got it. Okay. Next team host. Oh, oh yeah. I was kind of mesmerized that you said that on our show. Uh, we uh, Miami Heat. The Miami Heat right now, twenty four and twenty six. I gave him an A. All right. Uh, twenty four and sixteen. What did I say? Twenty four. Yeah. Well, that's the dyslexia. Even throughout the all the in, even with Jimmy being out and all that, they've still stayed afloat. They still Tyler Hero can hoop. Players, I mean, Tyler Hero was out as well for <laughs> a big, big, big portion of the season. He can hoop though. Huh? He can hoop. Yeah, he can. Bam out of bio. You know bro. he's better than yeah. bro. AP next. He's better than Austin Reeves. I tell you that much. By far, <laughs> he is. He is right now. He is by far. Oh, okay. Right yeah, he always has been. By the way, right now he always has been. One so, was helping wait, the on, team in the playoffs. So the other one wasn't because he was hurt. There's a gap between <laughs> what I said was true. <laughs> I'm thinking about something. You said there's a gap between Tyler Hero and Austin Reeves, but there's not that big of a gap between Austin Reeves and Dejounte. Wait, what do you say? You said the gap between Austin Reeves and DeJounte isn't really that big, but you just said there's a gap between Tyler Hero and Austin. Tyler Hero's better Tyler, than Austin Reeves. Tyler Hero but is like DeJounte Murray level. is also better than Paul. He, I think he, yes, he is. I think there's a gap as well. Uh, there, to me, it is. Yeah. If he said the gap isn't that big. He don't think it's that big. I, I don't think, think it's, it's big enough to warrant. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not think, think it's big enough to warrant two of your rotation oh, pieces. okay, okay. But That's also, what you mean. Yeah, he said that. He added the context because you have to give Reeves. You also have to give up Reeves. Um, um, yeah, okay. Listen. <laughs> Cause you know, I would have got all on top of that. Pause. Cause he, <laughs> he, he's better. He gave you a right. <laughs> he keep going. I keep like talking this. fast. Time soon. <laughs> Cause I gotta reach all. So you all right? Big lazy ass. <laughs> he's talking about. I gotta reach. <laughs> I gotta move my hand from here to here. He be like this. Angie, <laughs> Angie, you can pass it by fall. <laughs> but we was at the, the me and Elena was at the store yesterday, and we we, we love going to the little clearance section at Myers or whatever because this is whatever they had. Some you know why? <laughs> Talk about cars, they had, just they, We was looking at some of the stuff they had. These who put you on my? Come I was on. just laughing. <laughs> They had these love walkie talkies. They was like Mickey Mouse walkie talkies for like ten dollars. I was like, I should get these and be in like I'll be on the game and I'll be like. Yeah, can you do this for me? While well, she's just like ten feet away. Yeah, because your apartment is small. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> <saying. laughs> but I just thought it'd be funny that I don't love walkie talkies. But you didn't buy it. No. Nah. What did you get from clearance? I didn't get anything. The what bread. did y'all get from the store? Uh, Please, let's not do this right <laughs> now. We have teams shopping. to finish through. We have teams. Let's get through these last three teams. Um, three. <laughs> we not. Gonna... What team we on? Miami Heat. I gave him A. Game A. How many hockey asses? B been plus. Really Bama good. Oh, game really a B good. plus. Is Bama also a lock to you? Yes. Yes. I agree. With okay. Cool. We all on the same page. Bama out of bio. It's been phenomenal. Jimmy Butler just came back yesterday. Yep. Gave them good production. Um, Missed that game winner, but he did his thing in the overtime. Yes, he did. Uh, so yeah, I also gave them. I gave them an A minus actually. Um, the next team we have here is the Indiana. We did the Pacers. Pacers. Um, no, we talked. Oh, we did do the Pacers. We did the Pacers. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, the next team we have Orlando Magic. That's the same. I gave them an A. A. Yeah. A, a for sure. Gave them an A. They've been very good. One They've been the very competitive. Exceeded expectations defensively. Been on one accord. And yeah. I, it's just something about. I think I've said it before. It's something about teams that create that culture where they can lose people and they still maintain what they do and their identity. So Wendell went down, not a problem. Markel went down, not a problem. Uh, Franz went down. Caleb Houston had twenty some points. Mm -hmm. Like just not a problem. And I, I, I love. Teams that find that uh that type of feel. Um, and next. Paulo's just taking a, that step. Yeah. We were talking about like uh, how they were doing well early in the season, and he really haven't taken it yet. But now he's like, I swear, every every game he's seeing different defensive coverages because people want to try to slow him down, and he's kind of getting used to it. He's getting used to it and getting those reps, and that's only gonna help him, honestly. Yeah, you know, especially once down. he gets his weapon of Mo Wagner back, and or not Mo uh, Franz, Franz Wagner yeah. back. And he has a little bit more space, and like this is a really good team. Bro. They rumored to have made Markel and Wendell a little bit expendable. I, wait I, I think, for that trade I think that definitely line. that Wendell thing is definitely there. Yeah, you saw it when um, them having Gogo -Go and um, Mo be their centers. They they saw that we don't need an, ex an expensive center like Wendell in order. Who would have thought that Wendell would lose his spot to Gogo -Go Batazzi? And Wendell, Nobody. he did his thing last night. Last I mean, night, yesterday, was the best game of the year. The Knicks, yeah. But other than that, that he stock, was averaging like eight points per somebody game. Somebody gonna look at the the. The Hornets gonna look at that as something be like the value is there the, still. The Warriors who mocked that up? He's still just I, so small. I, I said that yesterday. Like, I was yeah, like, it's some crazy. They're gonna have another small center. Just another one. 
Um, but last year, Wendell was really good. So it's, it sucks. Go back to, to the Bulls. I don't think the Hornets to make that call. They, Mark Williams, when he's healthy, he's been very good. When he's healthy. Man, they played in six years, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, soon, Marky Mark. Exactly. Uh, next thing we have is uh, the Chicago Bulls. I gave him an F. For real? Yeah. Damn. Actually, no. F? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Let me, let me double check. Hold on. Let me double check. Actually, I gave him a C plus. <laughs> okay. That, <laughs> that's that's a, so drastic. I don't know Between why. that is eligibility and not eligibility. So <laughs> it's, it's huge. But uh, my C plus was just because of Kobe White. The uh, the Them giving him the keys during the Zach Levine being out. Him looking good. And it's just like. Maybe there is a – maybe seeing that told the front office, maybe we do need to blow it up. Time will tell. I would hope so. I gave him a D plus. You got a lot to – they got a lot to do in two and a half weeks. I gave him a C minus. I mean, I I expected them to be lower than where they are now at the start of the season, so I give them a little credit what for – What was our bet again? I think, it was, I think it was literally outside the play-in. And so y'all are right, you're right there. Oh, but it's a long season, though, so. Um, <laughs> it's also okay. cool to see Kobe White do his I thing. know. I love our annual bet. I didn't agree to that bet this year. <laughs> no, no. It's annual, ain't it? Oh, I did not agree to that bet this year. Is it annual? I think so. It's Thank you. Hell no. Thank How you going to ask them? They're not even a part of it. Because they, they was there when we made the we bet. All, it be the same thing every time. Right. You, you, y'all go back and forth and PB like, it's just money, and you agree. And yeah, yeah. even though it's just money, I'm not just giving Thank people you. money. Thank you. And just like they think, the Lakers are better than the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, no. I didn't know that was an annual. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So when you lose, it ain't annual. But when if, let the Bulls be the number one seed. He it's would be the be, first for a I man. I love our annual. Uh, Bulls suck. Bulls, Brooklyn, I got Brooklyn them Nets. at C. C. Uh, Brooklyn Nets are 16 to 23. We kind of talked about them earlier in the first segment of the show. Um, but what y'all grade them? I gave them a C-. minus. Um, this team is kind of like a roller coaster sometimes. Like, same team that lost to Detroit Pistons that kind of <laughs> – they unsnapped their 28-game losing streak. But it's either they're either hitting their threes or they're kind of struggling to score the ball, at least from my point. Uh, D plus. A tough watch. I, I gave it a yeah. D plus as well. D plus. Because they don't even have, a, like, a true number one. I know they're trying to make it Cam Thomas, but, like. Are they? But then they didn't because he didn't play for, like, yeah. play 15 minutes per game. Yeah, like I, I don't really know how to gauge what Cam Thomas is at this point. Now. Nobody does. It's just a disappointing season because there was a lot of things treading up for them. But now it's kind of just like, man, what? Like, Nick Claxton ain't having the same – years last year yeah cam johnson i just don't know after the extension they gave him i expected more mikhail isn't a number one cam thompson cam thomas it's like yeah one minute he's a number one next minute he's not even playing um but There's they, so they question they have some good trade pieces like somebody mm-hmm. will take you know who I, would, yeah, I think we talked guy. about it on one of our pods early before but i would not mind if, if nets eventually when the time comes they called and asked about trey young Mm. Yeah, I, considering they, they still I, have some defense. How, how do they do that though? Yeah. They have no picks. They got to restock picks. Mm. Oh no, they got the Suns picks from the KD trade. They don't want that shit. <laughs> yeah. Some of the picks is like 20, 29, 20, 30. They don't. Want Those might shit. be valuable. Those might be here. Yeah. Kevin Durant, just like the Lakers. Pick. Six years from now, what does that make him thirty nine? Yeah, true. And he, he does have a luxury even of on that two team. years somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> and dipping. That's kind of true. That should be funny too. With like, but the Hawks need something sustainable right now. Because yeah. they don't have their own. You picks. need a mix. You need some for the future picks. But you, if you're trading away Trey Young, somebody got to be in there. Oh, they don't, don't want the Kings have those. The Kings have that pick, right? Uh, who the Hawks? Yeah, the Kings have. Uh, no, no, no. They have a Kings pick. Oh. The Hawks don't have their picks We're, because of Dejounte. Spurs. So the Spur- it's twenty five, yeah. and then a swap in twenty six, and then twenty seven to the Spurs. So the Spurs are about to have two lottery picks then, potentially. That's crazy. and next year's draft, which is the really good draft with. Uh, 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 I almost called him Cooper Cup. Oh, Cooper Flag, Cooper Flag, <laughs> and company. Hey, Cooper, Cooper Cup. Cup. Maybe uh, he'll enter. Cooper Cup raw too. <laughs> I heard he was washed after the other night. That's just what I heard. Oh, he, 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 got, he got that ring. Y'all think he could shoot? Cooper Cup. Y'all think he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I bet he can. <laughs> I remember they asked him if he liked anime. He got mad, but he's like, no, that's oh, he not just, what I watch. He just lost a fan. Come on, man. <laughs> what is going you on? You named your team after him. Fantasy football. I did draft him. And what was it? Uh, it does not matter. Dallas Mavericks, uh, 24 and 17. 6C right now. 
tie for the fifth seed or the seventh seed. So they're B right plus, smack man. there in the middle. They, they're, they're, they're doing their thing. Even with Luka out, yep. Kyrie stepped up. Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. He is, he's just shooting up. He has his badge on at the beginning of the game. Like, that's how he's <laughs> shooting the damn ball. It's kind of crazy. But uh, Man, what what game was we watching where he was shooting that ball? The Knicks. The Knicks? When he, when he, he missed like the backboard. Four. Yeah, when he hit the side of the backboard. Yeah. yeah. That was one of those games where he he was the reason why they was up 20, <laughs> but he was also the reason why they almost lost. <laughs> 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 like, it, I think that just comes and go with those type of players. He is hilarious. Games. Yeah. Yeah. He shot that much three times. Yesterday, did y'all see what Jason Kidd did with the fouling? No, what did he do? Yeah, he fouled They were up Zion. by two with 17 seconds to go. They fouled Zion. Oh, yeah, and he missed the free throw. And Zion missed one of the free yeah, throws. So it worked out. But, like, why? Because he's Jason Kidd. He a guru. Well, I guess he really. That's that overthinking the game type that's stuff. Way too, that's that's overthinking the game. I guess he really that's type, felt like Zion was going to miss a free throw. Oh, I think he shit. thought he was down. Because that th- no coach is traditionally saying, we're winning the game. Let's put them at the line to tie it right now. Well, he, I mean, he's he, a bad free throw shooter. I don't care. It's not like he's 30%. <laughs> he like a 70% free throw shooter. He could have made both. He knew the pressure was going to make the pipe burst. But why do that when you could just play defense? Yeah. It, did it work or not? <laughs> it worked. It worked. Okay, then. It worked. When it I don't, but the next time about he do it, worked. it will not work. <laughs> That's the type of shit we used to do in my team. When I used to play Kyron and he had a card or a player that I felt like oh, I couldn't stop, yeah, I'm yeah. just going to foul you. <laughs> instead, yeah. instead of you tying the game or potentially winning it at the buzzer, I'm just going to get yeah. my shot at the end so yep. you can tie it up. Yep. Yeah, I'll let you tie That's it up. That's some my team So you're saying Jason Kidd been playing 2K? <laughs> yeah. I'm saying 2K is crazy for taking my team away from us. And, yes, they took it away from us because they took the auction house. And if you take the auction house and you took it away from us. Yeah, the views on 2K of my team is in the tank. Um the Mavericks have been good, though. Yeah, they are. They have been. Who would have thought they'd been able to stay afloat without Luka? Kyrie has been crazy Kyrie good. Kyrie has been amazing. If it wasn't for his mixed games, he would have been on that. Li- oh, still, I think he was on that he list. He still really, might right? make it. Stop talking. You think so? Yeah. 44? I mean, if he was averaging it, then hell yeah. <laughs> if he was averaging it, he'd be MVP. But nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, the other night, Josh Green stepped up. I think he only ended with eight points, beat a big three in the corner, cost two, uh, forced against, two turnovers. Against the Knicks. Yeah. Um, so he's he's been really good. Grant Williams lost his spot. He's starting to transition well to the bench role. And when Derek Lively's played, they've been really good. They should go get uh, DFS back. Remember I tried to trade you, Derek Lively? In fantasy, yeah. I don't want a rookie in fantasy. That one day plays 30 minutes, next day plays 16. Why would I? Why that? Why do y'all care about and fantasy Didn't, didn't you release him anyway? Yes, I had to. I had <laughs> exactly. I so why would I trade for somebody that was about to be on the auction? On the I, I wanted to get something for nothing. I didn't want to just drop Who do you think I am? Him. <laughs> KB is one of the hardest people to make a trade with, man. And we made one in fantasy football this year. It ain't hard to trade in the P-League. <laughs> yeah, it's different. All right, we got a couple more teams. We got the New Orleans Pelicans, who are also 24-17. and 17. Um, Have one of the best records against above 500 teams. I gave them a B-plus. I think they're around the range that I thought they would be throughout the season. Um, as, long as, they help, as long as they're healthy, they're, they're usually a pretty good team. This, this team scares me. Why? Because I feel like at any minute they could put it together and pop. They and are definitely a roller coaster team. Sometimes. But then I also feel like they also like one injury away. <laughs> they always, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, in the mix. They're in the mix. Yeah. I don't know. I've, they, uh, to me, this team is like they have so many weapons that can just they hurt could you. They could be so dangerous, bro. They they really do. And like even with all the offense, some games Jose Alvarado is coming in and he's got like four steals and he's he's you know picking up the pace for them. So they have so many ways to hurt you. It's just I think it's yeah, it's still figuring it out. And it's still like even through all the time they've been together, they have not still like got all the games underneath their belt. So they gotta look forward for that. They're the deepest team in basketball. By far. Uh mm-hmm. yeah, they're a scary team if you look at like them having a potential play the Tim Wolves or the Thunder or the Nuggets in the first round. It's a they series. can definitely extend those series. <laughs> even beat maybe the Thunder or the Tim Wolves, depending on the yeah. depending on how the series going. Absolutely. And I got Jordan Hawkins at a thirty point game. I was gonna say yes. it's it's that's cool. Like, hey, you know, you know where to come. If you have yep. a player that's like on and off the rotation, but when he's in the rotation, he can give you a really nice game like that. Like that can't do nothing but help your confidence in case an injury does go down and you're in the playoffs and mm-hmm. you need somebody to step up. Mm-hmm. Like you don't got to be all star, but man, we need we really need this impact. Yeah. We're down to our last two teams. Let's get it. Utah Jazz, twenty two and twenty. Utah Jazz, I'm currently getting... on a hot streak. Man, six I, games in they, a row. They, that, that turnaround for me put them at like a B plus A. Yeah, Cause, just because they've been so I gave, hot. 
I gave him an A. During Larry, this run, they've been my most fun team to watch. Larry Markin is one Markin of my is, favorite players, bro. Yeah. I might get a Larry Markin and Jazz jersey. No, don't. Because the Jazz jerseys suck. <laughs> they are terrible. Unless you get in the throwback right. the or something. Nah, the nah. Because I seen D Mills with the throwback Bulls one and it don't hit the same. With throwback Bulls one, it's just a Bulls jersey. <laughs> yeah, like, they don't <laughs> change the jersey. Jack- what throwback Bulls one he got? Oh, you just mean the Larry Markin jersey. The Larry Markin one. The Larry one. Oh, oh, okay. I saw the okay. vision. You oh. saw division like three <laughs> divided by one. Division that was that was a division problem. So you saw division. What's three divided by one? <laughs> one. <laughs> was it three? <laughs> it's three. <laughs> I knew it was one. You need your ass book. <laughs> one. I didn't remember. You don't. Rem- that's not something you need to remember. You just do the math. He said it like an equation. Right. I don't remember. I was put on the spot, so I just said I, the number. What? It was three divided by one. We good, bro. What's 10 divided by 2? 5. Okay. Okay. You remember that one? Yeah. <laughs> he just got to divide that piece. All muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, as Colin Sexton as a starter has been really good, Keontae George is starting to hit more shots, which is what we talked about last episode. Uh, Fontecchio is a two-way player. Fontecchio be out here. <laughs> <laughs> like, they got a lot, and I'm curious to see what they do at the deadline because uh, they could do some stuff or they couldn't. I, I, I want to see them bad low-key. If I'm, I Kelly mean, Olenek be hooping too. Yes. Kelly Olenek has always been one of those guys that be hooping. Yes. Him and Jordan Clark. That's because, bro, Kelly Olenek, he, he's a big man, but I swear he be playing like a guard, bro. He going to want to bring the ball up. He going to do all the between the legs. He going to take a step back three, and he going to, like, Relax he don't play like little, no. Relax a little bit now. He don't be taking no step back three. Kyrie. Kyrie. He got like, 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 I'm talking about for a seven. He bringing the ball up. Ta, 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 step back. Relax. Relax. You sound like relax. I, if you said that, I would have thought you were talking about KD. <laughs> <laughs> Practically the same. Ask the Wizards. Yeah. Last team we got. The last. I don't know how this ended up being last. The Suns, 21 and 18 on the season. They, I, I gave C them plus. like. Yeah. I, I gave them. I gave them. I gave them a B. I thought they for yep. they're not in a I think a crazy bad spot for but they're in a pretty decent spot for the time that like Bradley Bill has been missed. I mean the man came back and then got hurt in like the first like ten minutes of the game, mm-hmm. and so he had to miss more time. But they they've kind of been like staying afloat, and I think that's okay. Now that they're all together, I want to see them gel. I know we kind of seen like Bradley Bill at his when he what he still can be had a really crazy game against my Lakers, and it's like the offense is gonna be there. The offense is going to be there. It's just how else are we going to make everything else work, especially defensively. Well, they uh, two days ago, it's probably changed since then. They were the worst fourth quarter team since 1996. They had a negative 16.7 net rating in the fourth quarter. Do what you want with that information. That's I, actually kind of crazy to think that they have Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. But that's, that's <laughs> that, who else do you trust taking a shot down the stretch? But, but if you had those two, you would think your fourth quarter is a like, that, But it's still good. like that. That's all the attention is on them. They're going to get the nasty. But they hey, we but talk they, about worst of all time. They've like, no, they've since known they started that, tracking mm-hmm. the Did you fourth think quarters. the attention was going to be on anybody else? Nah, but. <laughs> he thought Josh Kogi was going to double team. Yeah, you, this is stuff that you already knew going into the season. <laughs> yeah, we knew Nurk was going to I just think that this team is that they're put together to not be staying afloat. They can't be like. Yeah, I, this is a team that was they wasn't put together to stay afloat. I tell you that yeah. this team is a C plus for me. Yeah, um, it was a C minus, which is unfortunate. I thought they had some acquisitions that would it just it's not it, man. And Bobo's hooping again. It's not it. And the rotation it's active. Good a minute. Yeah. The Wimby, the Wimby number two. Wimby before Wimby. Don't sleep. He crawled <laughs> so Wimby could walk. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> and the only okay. reason he don't play is because of politics. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason. That's that's what Twitter tells you. Politics is usually why I ain't playing high school. No, nah, that was actually was... politics. <laughs> For you too, KB? Nah, I just uh, wasn't very good. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, well, that was all 30 teams, giving them a grade. Exhausting. It, it, was, it was smooth, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave a like, subscribe, go over to Spotify, go over to Apple, five stars, number three basketball podcast in the world right now. We want to keep that up, um, and we can't do that without y'all. So, Love y'all. Subscribe to this channel. Five stars, likes, all of the above. <sighs> Man, I love being back. Yeah. Peace out. That's a wrap. Peace out. I got to piss so bad.